All right. What's going on, everybody? It's me, Sloppy. So, today, uh, we've had a little chat on Discord, and um, there's some guy that we're going to, you know, talk to, talk to, and talk about, and let him know, you know, let him say his side of the story and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm always up for uh, giving someone a chance for them to say what they, you know, their side of the story of what happened and stuff like that. And this is what we're going to do. You know, I will wait a little bit before, you know, you know, you got your stream yard working. All right, cool. Well, uh, today on this stream, uh, I don't think I'll be able to add you in. It's only a one on one, on one person situation. Um, he's going to, you know, let us know what he's, he's about and what's going on and stuff like that. And, you know, let's hope, you know, I don't know. I don't get mad easily. So I'm pretty patient. So I'm going to, I'm going to let him let, you know, say his piece. You know, he's been accused of uh, doing, you know, not really doing in like in physical form stuff with the minor, but, uh, role playing and stuff like that. Uh, most likely in a little bit, I'm gonna let you guys, you know, let him in. He's in backstage, so you know, I'm just trying to introduce this person and you know have more people show up. <laughs> What's up, ITV? Yeah, the eyes, man, the eyes are lurking. We're looking. So uh, yeah, he's backstage, and I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys dislike him. I. Uh, man, it's it's I'm in the middle right now, but not you know, I'm still you know trying to figure out who he is and what you know, you know that's pick his brain a little bit of what the situation is going on. Uh, what's up, Stanley? What's up, uh, Tiana? How's it going? So, you know, all right, well, I'm gonna add him in. Hopefully, you know, you guys could ask questions if you guys know him. Uh, this can only go two ways. Yeah, well, it could go anyway. It could go bad or good. It, it just, <laughs> you know, it, and I like, I like, you know, that's why I give, try to give Arthur a, a chance to, to explain himself. I, Matt Man to explain himself. I'm not here to fucking ruin, ruin them or nothing. Just, you know, explain yourself on the allegations and that's all we need. And I, I commend, I commend, uh, Junko that he did have the guts to do it, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah, let me let me add them in real quick. All right, is my mic all right. working? Yeah, all right, all right, we're working. Make right. sure. I'm just making sure everything is okay. Um, oh, no. So, no. I am very aware of the backlash a... that I have received from have five right years here. ago. I am very aware of this because the thing is, um, I know who put it out there. I know who did. Um, and, you know, I actually have taken accountability for this two times and I'm going to do it again. So I speak from the heart. I'm going to be speaking from my heart, you know, how I truly feel and what I should have done beforehand. Not working. And, you know, you know, what is going on with me now. So oh, I, I was aware that, you know, Certain people have cut me off, and mm. I deserve that. Mm. I am aware that people have been trying to mm. defend nope. me, and to the people that have been trying to defend me, please do mm. not defend me. I am not Dude, asking sucks. anybody anyway, to defend uh, me. Go on. I, hold on. I, I, did not, I did not tell anyone or give anyone any call to defend me whatsoever. I never wanted anyone to defend me in this. Because I want to take accountability and take responsibility for the actions that I have done. I do not want people fighting my battles for me. But rather, I want to take accountability. I want to own up. And I want to take responsibility for the damage that I have done. Now, it is, it is with great heart that I am very sorry for not telling you all you know, my past. I wanted to tell everybody about my past, but like just something just tells me not to do it. 
but I knew eventually it was going to be found out because I did have nightmares and stuff relating to it. But now that nightmare turns out to have come true and, you know, I think after this, I might potentially just sit by the sidelines and, you know, all I could ever do is think about the damage I have done. And, you know, no matter how many times, you know, I try to move on from it, it still hurts me to this day about the role playing I did and the allegations that I have myself confirmed to be true. Now, if I wanted to, I could have talked things out with people like Leon and, you know, some others, but it seems I may not be able to get that chance. But now that I'm here, um, I was offered this chance to speak out. So I'm using this chance to speak out. I'm not going to take it for granted. I'm not going to be proud of any of the actions that I have done. I am not proud. I am not happy about my actions. And I take full on responsibility and I admit guilt to them. I also admit defeat for them. Um, so as you all know, I used to be known as MXT. This started pretty much back in 2014. I used the name MXT um, before I became Junko. You know, the one who would always do the fun skits to make everybody happy. And the thing is, you know, I feel like I really do need to come out and address what I have done. Now, I was aware that Sloppy did do a stream talking about me like before. Now, the thing is, I was not able to respond at the time. And now I'm going to tell you all why before we get to the main to the main uh, thing here. Um, I actually was admitted into the hospital. Um, after, you know, so pretty much here's how the story went. I'm once again confirming that the allegations were true. And this was back when I was in, uh, in the 17 age. Now at the time when I was about 16 to 17, I'm sure everybody would have known, you know, the full thing. Now, first off, I'm going to address to some people no, my original Discord name was not Snuggle, okay? My Discord name was Snuggle, but the thing is, I had a habit of changing names and profile pictures. I pretty much had a habit of changing names at the time. So, no, my original name was not Snuggle, it was MXT. So, case closed on that part, but, um, but I'll explain what happened. So, at the time, and, and again, there is no excuse to any of this. And I'm speaking from the heart when I say this. Um, so when I was 16 and 17, um, throughout these times, I actually was looking for a companion. Now, there are many, you know, teenage guys that, you know, have been feeling lonely. And even I have. I was one of these guys that, you know, that felt very lonely and I wanted a companion, you know, a companion, you know, to stick by with and stuff like that. So I always felt that online dating, you know, was the way to go. I always felt that online dating was something that, you know, that I could do. Because if other people have done it, you know, I felt I could do it too. And, you know... It, it like I know that there's a lot of dangers to online dating. And ever since the incident, I now know the dangers to it. And since then, you know, I've started, you know, talking to people that are more, you know, my age and more of my age group. Now, again, am I proud of any of this? No, I'm not. Am I remorseful for it? Oh, very. I am extremely remorseful for it. And I am very sorry to those who have felt betrayed. Um, anyway, so let's just get to the... Hold on. Bulldozer, hold on. Izira says, so you're admitting to these... Talk yes, I am admitting to it. I am admitting. 
I'm telling the truth. I have admitted to people like, you know, some of these guys here privately. So I'm going to admit it here. And MJ, I understand. I knew that, you know, like I said, I know you guys would block me eventually. I knew it. And honestly, I had it coming. I had it coming. Like I said, I, I can't say I didn't see it coming because I saw it was coming. Um, I knew that you guys weren't going to message me about this. But again, you don't have to be sorry. Okay. I don't want you to be sorry. I mean, I forgive. Sure. But, you know, don't really worry. Okay. Because look, I'll admit something in, the, in a bit here after this whole entire story. But. So the thing was, I pretty much considered online dating something fun I would do. Um, I always wanted a companion that, you know, that I could be there for. And, you know, someone that could be there for me. Because I actually, you know, I felt very lonely that some other people would have girlfriends and not me. Um so at this time it did not start with uh with the girl in question but rather it started out with a new zealand girl again at this time during the 16 and 17 um thing i did not understand the rules of dating i did not understand or fully get the rules of dating i never had a full-on understanding of it I never got the rules of dating jotted down. I never had the rules of dating sorted out. All I knew was that I was looking for a companion. Now, I have now my first attempt. I did date an, a New Zealand girl once. And she was from, uh, well, I just said where she was from. Um where I met that one girl on a, um, on some emo community. Now at this time I was going through an emo phase throughout these times. I actually have been going through an emo phase to, you know, where I was emo, I was being emotionless and I had the thoughts of suicide, which some of these thoughts can get to me sometimes, but not all the time. But um, at that time, you know, we eventually broke up. Um, I then would get uh, date baited once by somebody. I'm not going to say their name, but I did get date baited a few times. I got date baited and I got catfished. So then after that, I... Um, you know, at this point, like I was just through doing this. Right. But I tried again and again, you know, I got date baited another time. Um, in my high school, there was also this one girl I liked. I, I tried to date her and, you know, that never went anywhere. But um, I've since moved on from that, too. And I wasn't, you know, like I said, again, I was I was a naive little, you know, little person okay sorry to cut you off but um i think they uh the main one they want to know about is uh the the eight-year-old uh one yeah yeah i'm gonna they, get to that <laughs> I'm still getting i don't think they that. want to know about your previous other ones they think they want just go straight to the ones that they want to listen to yeah yeah i'm gonna get to that in a second so pretty much after you know the failed attempts at trying to get a date um Again, I still never understood certain definitions at the time. So in 2017, I thought I would get a date by going to a role-playing Discord server at the time. There was this Discord server that has done role-playing. Now, as you know, I am a very good role-player. I, I do role-play. I do. You have seen me, you know, troll people as you know as the characters that i use and keep in mind you know i you know 
I do like to role play. It's my hobby. I do like to role play. Now, in the role playing Discord server, pretty much, um, I did meet this girl, and yes, this is the girl in question on Discord. Um, so this is where you know Sloppy is probably going to ask me questions, and I'm going to have to answer them. So, so I met this girl in the server. And I was like, okay, I think I may have found a companion. I think I may have found a potential girlfriend that, you know, that I would want, right? Again, not fully understanding how much trouble I would get into for all of this. So, so we role played and then pretty much we went from, you know, traditional role playing to uh, characters getting intimate, which y'all know what the intimate thing is, but I don't think we should be saying the word here because I don't know if you're monetized sloppy. I don't know if you are. No, you can say it here. You know, anything. Yeah, it be was saying. characters getting intimate. Um, I remember it was a, it was Kaido Sheehan and uh, Ayano Aishi and they were getting intimate. Um, in the RP I did, yes, we pretty much went on ahead. And as the age came out, um, I saw it in the Discord server. And the thing was, I was very carried away um, after I saw the age. And I was like, okay. Like, I just didn't understand you know what the rules were and again i was a very naive person when this happened um again i was 17 i was i was very brainless doing this but then again you know maybe for five to six years ago or maybe like 10 years ago or something maybe you know maybe some of you guys have done something that was probably brainless like i did well not like me i mean i'm not accusing anyone of being like me. I mean, I don't want anyone to be like me, but I know some of you might have done something that's like brainless before and, you know, since then regretted it. Then again, I have made a lot of mistakes in my life more than just this. So I can't, you know, say that that's the only mistake I ever made. I've made tons of mistakes in my life and I'm never proud of them. Never. So pretty much we just continued on until someone I know named Drew. Now, Drew, um, he, Ezira says that's grooming. You know that, right? Um, I did not know at the time that it was. I did not know that it was. I had no idea that it even was. That's the thing. I had no idea that it was grooming. I did not know that. So pretty much, again, I have done the most brainless, disgusting thing I've done, which is that RP. Now, I know many of you have questions, so I'm going to try to answer these as best as possible. So before you guys go asking me questions, I'll, I'll ask them for you and I'll answer them. So here we go. So I bet all of you are going to ask me right now, were any nudes sent? No, I did not send any nudes and she did not send any nudes either. No one sent any nude pictures. There were no nude pictures involved. There were, you know, no asking for nudes or anything. We did not do that. So there's your first question answered. Hold on. Give me one second. <clears throat> yeah, you guys could ask uh, questions. I'm going to ask some questions in a little bit, too. So uh, if you have any, you know, questions you could ask, you know, so it's all good. You know, we, we you can ask whatever you want and just be, uh, you know, just be, you know, he'll right, be honest. I'm sorry, I was mute. Uh, no, you're good. I had someone talking to me in the background. That's why I mute myself. All right, no worries. So 
So what were you saying? Because I, I didn't understand what you yeah, said. So how long how long after you found out that the, the the kid was eight years old did you keep talking to that kid? For a few days. It was mostly for a few days, I think. I, I, I don't remember how many days it was. I know it was a few days or maybe a, a week. I, I don't know. I really don't remember. Um, mm. I think it was a few days or a week. I don't know. I could be incorrect on this. So, like I said, I, I don't have – I do not have Drew with me. So, I mean, because Drew probably knows about this. I mean, because he knew about it. The thing is, I do not remember – I don't know if he remembers – how many days it was. I think Drew has since moved on from it, but so about Drew. So Drew is someone that I known for a long while in my MXT days. I um I have interacted with Drew throughout the time and at that time with Drew he and I, you know, were friends. Like we had an on and off friend relationship. Um when it came to, you know, certain situations that we had but i think we both met in the situation that you know we were facing against oba at the time now if you don't know who oba is um he is a youtuber that was known as original blood ace um he actually got arrested for uh possession of cp and you know that happened right at that time, you know, I think that happened in like 2017, I believe. Uh, but that's what happened with OBA. So there isn't much I can discuss on him, but maybe another time, if you guys want to ask me questions on OBA, I'll be free to an answer them. Azira says, are you not aware that inappropriate role playing with a minor is illegal? Again, I had no idea that it was at the time. I had no idea that it was illegal. I had zero idea about this. Again, I did not understand the rules of dating at the time. But okay, I, saw, um, I saw a video uh, a while back about you uh, when you admitted it. Um, who was the 11 year old person that you shared those messages with? I'm sorry, what messages? Uh, there's a video of you uh, admitting to uh, to two other people on a stream where you, I think you kind of freaked out too and you said you were going to turn yourself into the police and stuff like that. Who were the other people? Who were those two people uh, talking to you? One of them is called Drew. Um, so I'm just telling you a bit on who Drew is. So Drew, like I said... Um, we had like an on and off friend relationship throughout these times. Um, and I know that Drew has had problems with multiple people throughout these times. He has had problems with someone named Matthew Shaver. I might probably tell you about him privately. Um, he also had problems with Nicole at the time. And the thing was... Um, the thing was, I guess, I, I mean, I knew I was definitely involved in those problems before. I was involved in those issues. Now, like I said, as for Drew, we have not tagged along, I guess, ever since. I, I mean, I don't even know what he's doing nowadays. Um, whatever he's doing nowadays, that's with him. Now, I think I know that Rido individual, um, that was someone I have talked to before. Again, on the same Discord roleplay server that I was in. Okay, then that uh, other individual was, uh, from what I heard, was 11 years old? I don't remember if, if you know, if he was. I, I really need to look back. Uh, what, did you, what did you send that person that made the other person... Uh, rat you out well i really didn't send anything i know the one picture i did send was a picture of me dabbing and no i was not nude when that happened i did send a picture of me dabbing but i was fully clothed 
Okay. I actually was aware. This was back when the dab meme was like trending. You know, you know that meme. Nah. It, it's that it's that dance move that that people have been doing on uh, on YouTube. It's mm. been. I think it's been trending throughout the 2017 year. It's been trending for like a while before people stopped using it because. So, so after you found out she was eight, and how, uh, did you block her? Did you delete her? Did you leave that server? What What did you do to uh, steer away from that individual? At this point, I steered away after I got exposed for all of that stuff. Um, after I got exposed by Drew for this stuff, pretty much I was in a panic attack. Because I didn't know what to do. I didn't understand, you know, all of this. And yes, I was guilty when I got exposed for it. Now, the part where I where I screamed, I was actually screaming in fear and panic. And not only that, I was, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the police on myself because, you know, I felt so guilty that I wanted to, you know... I just, you know, I just lost it. Like, I just completely yeah, yeah. lost Yeah, well, yeah, it. you got caught. And, you know, some people uh, tend to do different, you know, things. When they get caught, They some people panic, some people cry, some people laugh, it, laugh at it because their their nerve system is getting hijacked because of all this I mean, some people emotional do that. stress. Yeah, you know, that's why, but... Have you ever since then, have you ever talked to, do you ask for an age if you do role play with the individual? At this point, like I said, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to have to start doing that more. And I'm going to, like I said, at this point, I started, you know, talking to girls that are more my age ever since then. Though I do know that eventually a year later after all this, um, I did, you know, I did, you know, get it exposed a second time, you know, this time it's from, you know, Nicole and, um, because I did admit it on a video once that's now since deleted, um, though, like I said, I mean, as Nicole, you know, was, you know, talking about, you know, Hey, what ha what happened to you? What happened to you? Did did you glitch out? Because I I didn't understand what you did. What What do you mean? No, like you went you were out of the stream and you came back in. Oh, I don't know. I've been on here the whole time. That's weird. It's probably an internet issue. I don't know. But after this, um, so. As Nicole caught on to it, um, she did, you know, talk to, you know, the girl. And, you know, she did the stuff. She Well, the thing is, she told her, you know, everything that I did. And the thing was, it is, well, the thing is, ever since the exposure of what I did, I, um, I since pretty much, like I said, we have not tagged along in a long time. At that point, I just let her be. I just let her be her own person. Um, but I did apologize. I have apologized. Um, mm. And at this point, I think we went our separate ways. I'm not sure what she's doing right now, whatever she's doing. She's probably focusing on her own life. I'm not going to get involved in that. And like I said, whatever she's doing in her life, that's what she's doing. And... The rest is history there. Now, the thing was, I, you know, did tell my parents about this. I have talked to my mother and my father. Yes, they were disappointed at me for doing that. They were very disappointed with me. And they were not happy with me doing that. And I have told them, you know, what exactly happened. And, you know... The thing was, after that, you know, 
this is when the suicide stuff came in. Um, I felt very bad for, for all I have ever done. Like for this and all the mistakes I've made in general. And at that time, you know, I was actually wanting to commit suicide for this. Um, now the thing was, uh, during a, uh, during a day where I had to get blood work done, I had, I was openly telling people about, you know, yes, they did punish and discipline me. Yes, they did. They did punish me and discipline me. Um, so what, what did you, what, what, uh, did you try to do? to commit uh, self-harm or uh, suicide? What, what did you do that, that, you know, did you take pills, that you try to choke yourself to death, that you try to jump off something? What was your- well, in, uh, 2000, well, in 2018, it all started with suicidal thoughts. I've always had thoughts in my head of me getting myself killed. Um, I actually had a lot of, you know, crazy thoughts in my mind of what I want to do to die. For example, how I wanted somebody to shoot me with a gun. And yes, I actually wanted someone to shoot me with a gun. Go figure. I know. I know that's very crazy of anybody, especially with my, um, with my self-esteem. Should I say self-esteem? Is that? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, but myself like i actually wanted to die like if you think it's i know it is crazy for a death wish to have death wishes like that you know to wish yourself to die but here's the thing i actually have had wishes of myself to die for a very long time um i actually did have a lot of suicidal thoughts now i had no thoughts to harm others. I had no thoughts to harm anybody but myself. Now, I've always have had a habit of harming myself as a kid and as a teenager. I would always bite myself. I would always go out of the blue to attack myself until I was dead. The thoughts that I had, these were very extreme such as wanting to get myself killed, wanting a bunch of bears to eat me, and all this other crazy stuff because I wanted to die. You can tell, you know, you know how much I wanted to die. And the thing is, you know, you can tell, I mean, I know it some people would have a desire to get killed and you know you know some suicidal people do have this desire and even i had a desire to get killed so in that case i wanted to die so as i was talking to people that were giving me the blood work um the blood work tests um they were talking to my mom about it who would catch on to me being suicidal so what she did was that she called um, someone to do in-house therapy with me for the summer. And I had to speak to a therapist about my situation, about, you know, my problem and my desire to die. Um, at that point, you know, afterwards, I thought I would feel all better. I thought I would feel okay, but for some reason, you know, the thoughts come back. They come, they come straight back. And I'm like, I knew I wasn't going to feel better. Then nothing was going to make me feel better. So at that time I looked for some new people to, you know, to interact with. And this is how I found people like Leon Calavera. Um, this is how I found some people, you know, like Hero and, you know, some other people. And the thing was, you know, I was on good terms with them. Um, 
I don't think they like me anymore. I mean, nowadays everybody despises me. So the thing was, you know, I entered the community under a new name, you know, because I did not want to use my old name anymore. And, you know, it just, you know, it just was what it was at the time. In 2021, um, in the summer of that year, um, Nicole, you know, invites me on a live stream. Um, this was way before this one. And that live stream is now since deleted. Um, I was invited on a live stream to be interviewed the same way you're interviewing me. And it was um, pretty much, you know, I mean, it didn't really go the best it could because it was so much pressuring, really. But I was asked these same questions. You know, I was, you know, I know I did have someone that tried to defend me. And I'm like to myself, please do not defend me because I really don't need people. And the thing is, I even made it clear. I do not want people defending me. I do not want people sticking up for me. I do not. I don't. I never wanted anyone to defend or stick up for me. So pretty much, you know, NX, who I also know, and you guys don't, um, was there on that panel supposedly defending me, which, again, I made it clear. I don't. You know, I just, you know, I never wanted anyone to defend me. And as truthful as I am, you know, I never wanted to feel so pressured, you know, talking about it. The thing was, I never wanted to talk about it because it, it just, you know, it hurt me so much. And, you know... I felt I have, you know, I've destroyed everybody's lives at that point. So after that interview, I've managed, you know, to explain, you know, you know, what I did, how I'm moving on and focusing, you know, on stuff like Christianity and stuff like that, which is still something I stick to to this day, Christianity. Um I'm not sure if any of you guys in this live chat follow religion like me, but yes, indeed, I do intend to follow Christianity and to follow God. Because, you know, I really think, like I said, because it is true that everybody can repent of sins like these, as God will forgive you. And, you know, I even, you know, watched the 700 Club with uh, back when Pat Robertson was still alive. May God bless his soul, by the way. Um, I started learning that, you know, that God forgives, that God loves, that God will not use your past mistakes to hurt you. But rather, you know, God, he is going to, you know, that God's going to forgive you, that God will put you on the right path. And that, you know, and I also learned that you can't really change the past as much as you wish you could. Okay. Question. But, uh, do you have any tendencies? Any, uh, do you have any, like when you see a kid, do you uh, sexualize in your mind? Is there anything sexualizing that happens if you see hold a, a, a... Hold on. I, I was, I'll get to your question in a minute. I just wanted to finish my explanation, but, no, um, but yes, um, indeed God, he forgives. He loves, he cares, and I believe that God will forgive you for even the most nastiest sins that we have done. See, the truth is, and I think everybody can agree with me, we all do not deserve to be forgiven for our sins. We all don't deserve it. But the thing is, Jesus, Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and me. So that we may be forgiven for our sins. You see, God says that if we repent our sins, he is just as merciful to, to forgive us. You see, all these sins that, you know, see, there are, there are the most disgusting sins in the world. 
See, there are people that have committed murder, people that have committed rape, people that have committed all <laughs> these nasty true. crimes. And, you know, people will say, oh, God doesn't forgive this. God does not forgive that. But you see, God actually does forgive them. He does forgive those sins because Jesus died for it, right? Now, the only sin that God does not forgive is blasphemy, which if you guys don't know what blasphemy is, blasphemy is something that the, uh, that the Pharisees did with where they accused Jesus of being the son of evil. They accused Jesus' works of being by Beelzebub. And Jesus said that that is blasphemy. So the thing is, you know, blasphemy is the unpardonable sin. But the thing, but people are going to ask me, oh, how do you commit it? Well, the thing is, it's a very rare sin to commit. Blasphemy is a very rare sin to commit. And how it's committed these days, like the blasphemy today is not about saying, oh, F God, F this and that, or using his name in vain. It's not just that. Like, people repent of that, okay? People repent of this. Now, the blasphemy today is when we continuously reject God. That is blasphemy. When we mm -hmm. continuously reject God all our lives, when our heart turns into a cold stone, it, it's it's so bad, you know, that if we continue to keep rejecting the forgiveness, when we continue to reject the Son, when we continue to reject the Holy Spirit and God, we go into the point to where there may be no more forgiveness available for us, you know, and this is the point to where we have committed blasphemy. So there you go. If you want, if you guys want the real unpardonable sin, it's blasphemy. Blasphemy is the true unrepentable sin. There you go. You see, now you guys know a little something. So yes, God will forgive you for all of your sins, but He does not forgive blasphemy. He does not forgive blasphemy. Hold on, Matthew says. And before I get to your question, sloppy, I'm going to ask Matthew. No, not. Uh, answer him let's see junko doesn't arthur if you don't mind me asking this does arthur commit blasphemy uh i don't know i really don't know like i said i mean i know that bio <laughs> did ask me one question once about you know about blasphemy and i did answer him you know regarding you know regarding that so I, I, I would have to look back on it, but I have to see. But anyway, all right. So, Sloppy, ask me the question again, please. No, yeah, I said, uh, as of now, do you, if you see a teenage girl, do you fantasize or sexualize that in your in your mind? No, I do not, you know... I do not find any of that attractive whatsoever. I do not do that. I have no intentions on doing that. I have no intentions on, you know, stalking people of any kind. Like I said, I do not, you know, have any attractions to that. I do not have any attraction to children whatsoever. So... So I'm mostly, <clears throat> I'm, cause the thing is, but the thing is, I am attracted, however, to mostly adult women. I'm mostly attracted to adult women that have, you know, like the big boobs and, well, I, I don't even know why I would say boobs on here, but I just did. But, you know, with the big boobs and stuff like that, you, you know what I mean by adult ladies? Yeah, yeah, older lady grandmas. Like, I'm more into the adult chicks. I mean, like I said, I'm more into the grown chicks. Cherry Boo says, are you addicted to porn? Um, 
Now, I will say that – hold on. Let me answer 49ers fan question. 49ers fan, in response, I mean, Hero is also a boob lover, okay? If you want someone else that's also a boob lover, why don't you go look at um, Hiroshi Maru? He, he's, he's a boob lover. But anyway, Cherry Boo says, are you addicted to porn? Um, well, I am not afraid to come out of the closet with this one. Um, the truth is, yes, I actually have been a porn addict. This has been happening to me since I was 14. Um, I actually am, I'm actually trying to work to break this addiction. I know I failed a bit today, but I'm, I'm trying again in the best I can. I do not know how many days I went without looking at the obscene material, but I will admit, yes, I have had a porn addiction. And the thing was, I wanted to break this addiction. I actually do want to break the addiction, but I do know that I cannot do this alone as I really need help. I need help from not just my family, but from all of you. Now, I know that some of you guys, now I know, like I said, I'm not hating on anybody specifically. And, uh, you know, like for example, Cherry Boo, I mean, I don't necessarily hate you. In fact, I love you as a person. And, you know, I, I actually respect you as a person. I really do. Now, do I respect and agree with some of the stuff you say? No, but I still, you know, I still care. I mean, as for me, when I call you out, I want to call you out with love and care and respect because I have a heart, something I think we all need to have. And, you know, it, it's sad that some people in this world do not want to have a heart. They want to rely on themselves so much. They want to rely on a stone heart that they're, that they're bearing, that they're going to say things that makes them no better than anyone like me. Now, I'm not better than anybody. I don't want to be better than anyone else. Okay? That's not what I'm aiming for. I do not want to be better than anybody else. I'm not aiming to be famous. I'm not aiming to be well-liked. I don't want to be well-liked. I'm not aiming for that. I don't want to be famous. Okay? That's not what I want. You know? That's not what I truly want. What I truly want is God. That's what I truly want. And that's all I want. You know, nothing but the nothing but the all father himself that created you and me, the heavens and the earth. <clears throat> the God, he made the sun. He made the stars. He made the sky. He made the heavens and the earth. Read the book of Genesis. You'll know he made the light, the light he called day. And then, and you know, the darkness he called night, you know, stuff like that. All right, Sloppy, were you going to ask me something? Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for you to finish. But um, Yeah, I am finished. Yeah, this uh, Kavari says, porn addiction is destructive for the brain. Download a porn blocker for F6. Well, no yeah. need to swear, but um, I have downloaded porn blocker apps, and some of these you actually have to pay for. And okay. I have not used those because the thing is you got to pay for it. And the thing is, I may not have, you know, the money on me to be able to pay for such stuff. I am aware that there are apps, you know. Well, let me, uh, give me one second here. And that's true, let me Jerry. check the uh, app store real quick. Because there actually are blocker tools that you do download. Like some of these are like free downloads, but. Have but, you talked to your family about this uh, addiction? I have actually been talking to my family about this. My family does know about this. Um, I even told them that, you know, I want to get help for this type of stuff. So that way mm. I can never be addicted to that again. Okay, so Kevin says you attacked it. Okay, I'm going to try to debunk this one as well. 
Now, here's the thing. I know exactly what Kevin is saying. So I'm not going to judge Kevin. Now, it is true that, you know, I have been, you know, talking about, you know, my stance against LGBT. Keep in mind, I remain with my stances against the LGBT to this day. Now, I'm not attacking the people, okay? I'm not hating on the people that are in that community. I'm not hating on the people, but rather I hate the agenda, okay? I really should have made this one clear, and I don't know why I never did, but the thing is, I, you know... I have been against the agenda for a while, for a very long time. I have been against this agenda. Always have and always will. So, and even, you know, I learned how evil the agenda is. And I've been sticking by my viewpoints and, you know, where I side in all of this. I am very aware that you know hold on well even the woke movement i i've actually been speaking out against the woke agenda as well cherry said actually actually cherry god can actually forgive you for that you see since homosexuality is a sin and jesus died for that too you can actually be forgiven for that you just have to, you know, you just have to, you know, you just have to repent and stop doing it, you know? Okay, Brandon. So he says here, well, I'm not always really forcing it. You see, I'll clear this up. People will try to say that I am forcing it, but the thing is, I am not really forcing it as God actually commands us to spread the word and preach the word about, you know, about the word of God. We are actually commanded to do it. Now, when we are commanded to do it, you know, when, when it's our command to, you know, believe and spread the word of the gospel we're not really shoving it down like what some people are going to say. Some people will try to say that, oh, you're just shoving it down other people's throats. How dare you? But the truth is, it's not shoving it down anyone's throats. It's technically just an opinion that people would have, you know. And the thing is, as a believer in God, I am aware that I must make certain sacrifices, you know, I must make certain sacrifices in my life and we all should make certain sacrifices in our life. Um, let's see. Sherry Boo. So why do you hate on the agenda? So I hated on the agenda for a very long time. Now, like I said, I do not hate the people. And, you know, I do not you know, like I said, I, I never hated the people, but I've always hated the agenda. Now, the thing of the matter is, you know, I was always aware of how horrendous the agenda was because, you know, not only was it evil, but, you know, even the Bible says how sinful it is. You know, and I even watch YouTubers that give us a warning on the woke agenda and how bad it is. Like I have watched like many pastors before I've watched the 700 club. As you know, I am like a fan of the 700 club at this point. I like the 700 club. I think the 700 club, you know, is a channel you can learn from, you know, and I have watched their show. I have watched Pat Robertson. I've prayed. I, I actually prayed with him, you know, when he was on TV praying. You know, all that stuff. You know. So I actually think, you know, the word of God is more important than the world. 
Brandon says, well, the thing is, God actually does, you know, see, God, like I said, <laughs> he forgives. <laughs> see, he loves, see, the thing is, Jesus, he loves sinners, and he wants to save the sinners. If you're saying that God does not save anybody that does these sins, that is a lie from the devil. When you say that God will never save you, when you say that God will never forgive you, then that's a lie from the devil. And the thing is, I refuse to believe the devil's lies. I refuse to believe the devil's lies. See, Jesus loves us. And when we... And see, when we make a claim that that Jesus hates us, that's a lie from the devil. Never follow into the devil's lies. Never follow into the devil's lies. Because when you follow the devil's lies, you're falling into a great evil that, you know, that sure, you can, you can definitely repent to God. But remember, you must betray evil. And you must side with the good. You see, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. You know, I believe, you know, Jesus loves all of you too. You know. Okay, okay. All right. We got uh, too much religion in here. <laughs> uh, let's uh, move on. Uh, what happened this past week? What happened the past week? Okay, so in the past week, um, and this is where the suicide stuff continued. Uh, so for the past week, after all this stuff happened, thing is what happened was that, you know, I have actually attempted suicide three times. Now, I have told you that I had suicidal thoughts. Well, those suicidal thoughts turned real because... At the time when I was do when I was having the thoughts, I actually attempted suicide. And you know, I like I said, I've always had this desire to die. I had this one desire to kill myself. And I wanted to die. I wanted to harm myself. And you know, with these thoughts of me wanting to do it this is what <laughs> i did funny. now i did watch leon he's in the chat right now as much i wanted as much as i wanted to talk things out with him i know he does not like me i know he hates my guts now but i did see a stream of leon's once when i woke up and i noticed you know people have been talking about me in his stream so after this after seeing it all i decided you know what Let's commit suicide. I had it in my mind that time. Like, I felt like, you know what? I'm going to feel much better if I die because I think the world would be magnificent without me. And I have actually always, you know, I always thought, you know, maybe sometimes if I, if I really do, if I did kill myself, I think everything would be okay for myself. So what I did was that I got, you know, I got something. And first what I did was that I got a knife and I tried to cut myself. Now, the thing is that failed. And the thing is, I, you know, I, well, it semi failed because the thing is, I did have marks when I was using a knife in the kitchen. I got myself, you know, a knife from the kitchen drawers. And what I did was that I like, like tried to cut really bad. I, I tried to cut really hard. And, you know, I felt like, you know, I just wanted to bleed, just let it all out, you know? I tried to slit my wrist. I tried to cut my palms. I tried to, you know, to stab myself in the chest. I have tried to do this. 
actually, <laughs> Kevin, well, the, the key <laughs> thing was last year. The key thing was actually last year. Last year, I tried to do it on camera because the thing is, With the key? well, when I did it last year, I actually wanted everyone to see me die because I believe that's what everybody wants. I believe that everybody wanted to see me die. And I thought it would be, you know, it'd be good that if people were to see me die on camera, then maybe everyone will be so happy. Um, so now with the knife that now the thing is, I did not do this on camera with the knife thing. Because this year, like, you know, like last week, yes, I did not go on camera and try to harm myself last week. That was last year I did that. But the knife thing, you know, last week was that, you know, I tried to cut my arm. I tried to cut my wrist. That failed. Well, semi failed because, um, you know, I did get some marks. Age restricted. Not bleed. Another thing I did was that I turned the sink on, I dunked my head in it, and I tried to drown myself. I tried to breathe in as much water as I can, just to get the water in my in my in my lungs and just everything to finally die. Then you know after that that failed. I grabbed something and I wrapped it around my neck and I tightened it real good to, you know, to increase the pain and the suffocation because I tried to suffocate myself and that failed. I then got a bag and I put it on my head. Like, you know how some people do that? I actually tried to suffocate myself with a bag and again, that failed. That failed very badly. Then I looked at the medications. I was looking at, you know, the cleaning products, like, you know, like Clorox. Well, I don't think we had Clorox, but we had, you know, some bleachy like substances that we've had, like bug killer and, uh, and poison chemicals and even, you know, and even like I was even looking at the the medication that we had in the drawers. Well, not in the drawers, but on the shelves. We actually do have like medication, like like painkillers, all this other stuff. And I actually have thought of taking those medications and overdosing on it. But I did not take any pills because I didn't want, you know, my I didn't want my mom to know I was going to kill myself. I did not want my parents to know that I was going to kill myself. I did not want my mother knowing about it because I know she would be screaming, but I know she would probably find out about me killing myself anyway. Um, after this, I've had enough and I'm like, okay, if I can't kill myself, then I am going to call the lifeline. Hold on, Kevin. If you feel that I have been attacking you, then I, I am sorry for that. My goal was never meant to attack anybody. Okay. So what happened to me was that I have then called the lifeline. I have called the suicide prevention lifeline. And pretty much, I know some people have made some things, you know, <clears throat> but I know some people have made, you know, such things about me. Like some people were accusing me of doxing Nick in Infante's fit, uh, photos or something. And to clarify that, I never had anything to do with that. That was technically Roar that got those photos, not me. I did not commission anybody to take that. I had nothing to do with that. So to some people that are making that allegation about me, stop it, please, because that's not right. 
I have never had anything to do with that. So I am aware that some people are not going to, you know, to take stuff lightly. But I will say, though, I have not really attacked people. I used to attack people, but I'm not doing it. The way I call out people on Facebook with the response time posts, that's me calling it out calmly. Now, people are going to try and say that, you know, that I was attacking. Now, technically, my intention was not to attack. But people are going to tell you that my intention was to attack when it was technically not. So I really want people to stop having this mindset that I am attacking people when I'm technically not attacking anybody. I was not trying to attack anybody. I was not trying to attack Kyle. I was not trying to attack Psycho. I was not trying to attack ZTB. I was not trying to attack anybody. I'm doing a call out the right way, the way that people should be doing it, okay? Now, people are going to say, oh, why didn't you call out Adam for the Kevin Daddy stuff? Well, the thing was, you know, I actually did not agree with Adam making memes on Kevin's mom. (laughs) I never agreed with that. I have never agreed with Adam making memes on Kevin's mom. In fact, I actually have respect for Kevin. I still do have respect for Kevin. I do not hate him. I do not hate him with any passion at all. I love him as a person. Like I said, I don't expect Kevin to like me. I do not expect anyone to like me. You know? And like I said... I have, you know, called Kevin out with the whole, you know, Adam suicide thing. But the thing is, you know, well, I'm not. Well, the thing is, it depends on how you call them out, Cherry. It depends on how you call it out. If you're going to call out someone, you do it right. Calling out people for the stuff that they say and do is not a low thing to do. But rather, calling out the actions is the right thing to do. You know, now the thing is, you know, I, like I said, I don't want anyone to be like me. I don't want people to be like me. I don't want people to like me. I don't. And the thing of the matter is, as much as I really want to be able to, you know, You know, if I, as much as I want to be able to talk things out with many people, I know some people don't want to talk things out with me. I'm very aware that people do not want to resolve anything with me. And if that's the case, I can fully understand. Like I said, I'm willing to move on from all of this. I do ask for closure. Now, I know what some say, you know, like what Brennan said, I'm no leader. Now, the thing is, Now, people will try to say, like I said, what I do is not making me a leader. leader. And the thing is, you know, I'm trying to call out things like a leader can. Now, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, that there are people, you know, that are not going to, you know, do things like a leader would. But I want to do it like how an actual leader can. You know, I want to be able to call out things politely and nicely and maybe, you know, bring some education into it. You know, just educate people, you know, you know, the word of God, you know, can really help you out along the way. The 49ers fan says, um, is this guy, I actually used to be a YouTuber, but I not anymore. I mean, people will try to say that I don't need closure. But the thing is, I really want closure to all of this. I really want closure to this entire saga. 
because I don't want to see myself get hurt anymore like this. And after, you know, What's up, you. after the fact I did suicide, I called the lifeline and they booked me for an, a, for, a, um, they booked me for an, for an appointment with the hospital. So I was legit crying on the lifeline and, you know, and the thing was, you know, I call this lifeline and I tell them I'm, I did this back then. It's still hurting me. I wanted to kill myself, you know, for, you know, what I've done. I wanted to kill myself. So what I did was that I was booked for an appointment yes. and I voluntarily went to the hospital. I went to the hospital to where I had to talk to a doctor and a psychiatrist. Um, as I talked to the psychiatrist, I have, you know, I have, you know, said what I did and, you know, all of this, you know, I've said all of the stuff that happened about the online disputes and all this other stuff. And, you know, the stuff I did when I was 17. Now, you know, after I talked to the doctor about it, I then talked about um, the, no, and then I talked to the psychiatrist. So I was in the emergency room for like almost the entire day, technically. Um, I was crying in the emergency room. I, um... I just wish, you know, I would just go back in time and undo all of this. I really wish, but you know, the rules of time travel. So, you know, and after, you know, after waiting and waiting, hoping maybe I could get discharged or something, you know, I was actually sent to the psychiatric ward for pretty much the entire week. Um, I had to talk to not only the psychiatrist, but I had to talk to, you know, talk to some nurses and doctors and they were, you know, taking care of me for these, you know, two to five days. They said that I would have to stay there for like two to five days. And the thing is, I knew that, you know, that Leon did a stream on me before. I knew that, you know, other things were happening. I just could not get the time to come on and say my side because at the time, you know, they don't let you use your phone in the psychiatric. Okay, they don't, you know, the thing is, you don't use your phone in the psychiatric ward. They do not let you use your phone in the psychiatric ward. I actually have taken accountability for this, Leon. I have. I took accountability for it earlier. It's earlier in the stream. You can go back earlier in the stream and see that, yeah, I still, you know, to this day, you know, take, I still to this day take accountability for it. So the thing was, I was still, you know, and so, in my first day in the ward, I tried to get onto Leon's stream, you know, to say goodbye to everybody and take accountability for everything I have done, but I got blocked, so I couldn't do that. So at that time, you know, I stayed at the ward and I just, you know, wanted to, you know, just get my chance to speak out, take accountability for what I've done. Now, I'm not going to blame it on anything. Okay, Zaxio, to respond to what you're saying, um, I'm not blaming this on my mental health. I am not blaming it on my mental health, but I'm blaming it on myself. But anyway, so as you know, as I was in the ward, I've been thinking about my actions. I've been thinking about my deeds. I've been thinking about how stupid I was and you know, what I really could have done. 
And I always thought about, you know, all the things, you know, I've, I've thought about all the things I've ever said and done. <laughs> and, you know, even all this. And after that, you know, I, you know, I would eventually get discharged. And this is where we are today. But the thing is, like I said, the thing is, I have no excuse for anything I have ever done, including this. I have no excuses for it. I take accountability for all I've said and done. I really do. I take accountability for it all. I shouldn't have did what I've done. I do not blame it on my mental health. I do not blame it on anybody. I do not blame it on anybody here, but I blame it on myself. So the thing Thank was, you I mean, if you want to have Zexio on here, we can have him. Um, do you have Zexio's thing? We can invite him in here. I can talk yeah, to him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's my homie. He's my big yeah, homie. You're friends with him and all. So if he wants to talk with me, he's free to do that. So uh, give him the link up. and uh, we'll talk to him. All right, hey, my papi. All right, hold up. Let me... Uh... Does he have the link or... Uh... There should be something in here. All right, cool. Send it to him. So he'll... All right. All right, so he's, he's, he's not as nice as me though. You know, I'm pretty I'm pretty nice. He's a little bit more meaner. <laughs> I know he is. Like I said, yeah. I know Zexio is someone you don't screw with, so I'm very he's, aware. He's a nice person to normal people, but like if he finds someone that So like I said, uh So are you taking any meds? Are you taking anything uh anything to help you with anything you, you, you your mindset <laughs> i mean what um, do you what Marty. do you mean by that okay um, whoever is spamming w racism can you not do that we're not talking about race we are marty, not talking about race today. come on marty you know i don't like people spamming you could have wrote it one time and then waited like 30 seconds if not i'm going to block so, not, uh, hide you you know how I am. On Zexio to get in? Yeah. Uh, is there a, uh, no, just one person. Not this time. Maybe next time. We don't want there to be like a clusterfuck and shit and people arguing. Yeah, I don't really want it to like be a that. war zone. I'd rather, you know, just. <laughs> Brendan. No, no, no. Marty's a nice person. I like, I like Marty. Marty's a chill Uh Oh, so he's uh, a friend of you. Oh, okay, yeah, he's a friend of yours. Yeah, he's a friend of me, mine. Uh, an acquaintance. He's an acquaintance. You know, but, yeah, he'll, you know, he'll ask you more questions. He's more, uh, I like to just listen and know what the hell is going on. But uh, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, there's going to be a lot of people online that they're going to hate and dislike you. Uh, I don't like saying the word hate because, you know, but... They might be able to use it, but I, I like to say dislike, and it's going to take a long-ass time for you to rekindle, if you even can rekindle any friendships online. And, you know, might have to change your, your name, might have to, like, go on to different communities and shit like that that don't know anything about you because um, from what I see in, on the comments, there's the people that you used to hang out with are not cool with you. And that I'm aware of for the most part. I'm like very aware of it. Though, um, let me see. Is he in yet or no? No, I don't. I don't see him yet. But no, I'm sure yeah, he's getting his stuff ready. ready. He's getting his um, PC stuff ready. I'm guessing. Hmm. Hold up. Let me add him real quick. All right. Okay, so Zexio, is this you? No, it's Bobby. not. 
by the way, uh, I like your profile picture, by the way. But anyway, all right. So I know you really hate me so much. So I guess go ahead and, you know, wish death on me if you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I did that way before I joined this live stream. No worry. Yeah, um, this guy, uh, so to get you up to tra uh, track, is uh, this guy was mess uh, role playing with an uh, eight year old. This was back when I was 17, by the way. So pretty much, like I said, I am taking accountability for this. Like I said, I've made it clear in the beginning that there mm -hmm. is no, uh, there's like, there's no excuse for that. You have to watch the beginning of that part. Okay. Now wait, what exactly did you do to the eight year old? I did mention that in this, that this was just two characters getting intimate. It's technically role-playing where it's two characters get intimate. For sure, Brandon. So did you send any inappropriate images? Did she or he send you any? No, there were no inappropriate pictures involved. There were no private parts involved. There were no nudes involved. Okay, but well, you being 17 would, would have known that, you know, doing that to an eight-year-old is a bit sick. I wish I knew better, but the thing is, I, um, hold on, 49 seconds. I are I just now I just made it clear that I did not send any nudes. I just what? made it clear that there were no nudes involved. Who said who said uh someone said that you sent nudes? Well, Fortnite fan was like ew and I was like, uh dude, I no, he just said he just said, he just said ew most likely because hear what I just said. I just uh, said there uh, were uh, no, no nudes. No, involved. no Junker AKA goodbye, okay. Um that picture of you in the hospital, may you explain that to me? me in the hospital yeah don't scare yeah, me they, they sent us a picture of you in the hospital or in like an, a ho uh, bed or hospital bed or something the image the image that i have on my thumbnail that, uh, that's you right hold on the one calling you out give me a minute give me a minute give me one second dude mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta give me one minute you gotta give me Two one minute. minutes. like i said i require patience Three minutes. Four minutes. I can't. What's up, Sexio? Where you been, man? Busy, well, busy? I know that. Uh, busy, bro. I do know that I was in a hospital bed. I was in a hospital bed, yes. The thing Who did you send you know, that like picture said, to? What? Who did you send that picture to? Um, I have originally sent it to uh, some people privately. Yo, Junko. Um, would you say you have an attraction to minors? I do not have any attraction to minors of any kind. I have made that clear specifically. So you have no uh, attraction to minors, but you would sexually role play with a minor. Got it. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, that's not what I was trying to say. Well, to have sexual conversations with a minor, that must mean you're into minors, right? Logical thinking here, bud. But that's for like anybody that is like legit attracted to him. The thing was, I told which, you, which you, you wouldn't be story, because you you knew it was an eight year old behind this account. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No big fella. If you listen, listen, I don't respect you, right? I just want to know if you have no attraction to minors, why would you knowingly talk well, to me? I respect, well, I respect you, I respect you, I respect you. But the thing is, okay, like. I respect you, okay? Like I'm like I said, I'm showing my respect to you. Okay, so could you at least, you know, give me some space to um to finish explaining, please? Like please oh, okay. Silverman. Like I'm just no, being just, honest. Just for sloppy's sake. Just sorry, just for sloppy's sake, I'm gonna be really nice. Yeah, be nice, Vexio. I'm just kidding. You could be the only one, Vexio. You know what I mean. Okay, let's all calm down. Okay, everyone, let's calm down and think. Okay, let's calm let's down and cooler. think. So, if you actually, um, hold on, you respect him, but you say stuff in Arthur's panel. I have not been talking about Vexio and Arthur's panel. I have not. Whatever is going on between Arthur and Zexio, that is between them, okay? 
I know I am aware no. that Zexio has issues with Arthur and Cobra. I'm very 100% aware of this, but I have no involvement in this. Keep in mind, I have no involvement in that. Uh, so, all right. All right, so what's your take on, you know, like children in general? Well, the thing is, I do think children, you know, do need a mind of their own. Like, they grow to have a mind of their own, right? I mean, doesn't everyone right. think okay. they need a mind of their own? Like, I really think they need time to develop a mind of their own, you know? So so you do that for them by grooming them, right? No. I First off, I told you I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Oh, I yeah, no, no, one, no one ever knows what they're doing with an eight-year-old. Am I right? Now, was it a female or a male? You're talking about the one... I mean, no, I can tell you it was a female. You, you, you're saying female. about the one. So there's more than one victim? Oh, no, I said... Okay. Okay, I'm trying not to, like, have a, have a fit here, but... Okay, there was one. I told you there was one. Okay, there's not, you know, more than one. I told you there was oh, one. Okay, but what, what's the gender? I told you, female. That's what I was trying to tell you. So you like them little girls, huh? <laughs> I never said... I have never said that. No, no, come on, chubs. Let's calm down, all right? Let's get real calm But didn't you... That. But did you listen to the story? Did you listen to the entire story? Uh, uh, you, you give me the story. I'll sit here. I'll listen. Yeah, but down. why are you... But why are you literally claiming something that I have never claimed? Okay, what did I claim? You claimed that I was attracted to minors. Well, I never said you, that. Well, you must be if you're flirting and grooming a minor, right? That is being attracted to, to a minor. Just how adults sexed each other. It's, it's an attraction, isn't it? But the thing was, I never said I was attracted to that. I never. But the, what that. I'm trying to say here, psychologically, right? Think, um, say, you know, talking here, you did groom an eight-year-old girl, which would practically mean you had some type of attraction to the eight-year-old girl. Am I wrong? The thing was, at the time, I told you I was looking for a companion at the time. Oh, so an eight-year-old is your companion. Look, are you just gonna listen to me, or are you just gonna? No, keep no, I'm, I'm listening, but like you're getting a bit over defensive here. I'm just trying to have a normal conversation. I'm, I'm not calm. getting defensive. I'm saying it's that like you're jumping into me, these right? conclusions, and you're not listening to what I'm saying. Are, are you sure you're like into girls or women, whatever? Because you sound gay. You sound like mega, majorly gay. <laughs> That's what some people are gonna say about me. But thing is, I'm not gay. I never was. I never was gay, okay? I'm not gay. I am not gay, and I never will be. So you I, don't want to kiss me right straight, now? I have been a straight man for years, okay? I've been a straight man, like, ever since. Like I said, okay. I'm straight. So, so you wouldn't kiss me right now, be it to be it, right? Zexia, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Hero, he asked to Zexia to come in. I, we're not gay. I was, it was a one-on-one one -on -one, one conversation. He wanted Zexia to come in. I'm like... I'm like ganging up on him. I'm I want. Play. I told Zexio to come in. I told him. He hero, to go brush your teeth. Hero, go brush your teeth. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry <laughs> about Hero. Just don't worry about him right now. Hero's know, not the main. I like it. Hero is not the main. You know, is not the main thing. Uh, so so keep, going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm, I'm, so, Junko, if you don't mind, what like what was the context in these these messages you had with this uh, eight year old girl? Mostly it was all role play. I don't think there was a context to any of it. There was, I do not think there was any context so, so, to this. So was it was it like real sexual stuff like oh rubs your toes, rubs your thigh, you know, licks your belly button. So, so hey! type of stuff, right? Okay, can, can we not say any of that? <laughs> okay, that, that's a bit weird. Okay, can you just ask the question again? I, I know that sounds weird. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me just let me just say this. Question, I'm supposed to answer it. No, you you asked the question. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm tr I'm trying to talk right now. But 
So, so basically, was the chat very sexual? Was it like just like, oh, I'm going to touch you here, I'm going to touch you there, this, that, and the other? Well, the thing was, I did not say I, I did not ever say anything to that girl relating to to touching. I never, you know, I never said anything about wanting to touch the girl. Like I. We had no plans for any interactions. We had no plans for any of that. There were no plans for interactions. There were no nudes sent. I did not threaten any rape or any or anything like that because I'm not one to threaten rape on people. Wait, wait, wait! No, just just re say that again. So, so what was the message about? Sorry, I was <laughs> talking to somebody else. It was mostly role playing with uh, with two characters um, getting intimate. I did not say, like I did not, you know, tell her, oh, I want to touch you or any of that. So when you <laughs> this was funny. Say intimate. Could you like, what do you mean by that? Like, hold what on, was the context of the me, messages? Uh, like, read, what did the messages let say? Let me read the messages. Let me read the messages. <laughs> let me read the messages. Let me read the messages. Okay, let me to repeat yourself. All right, okay. all right. Let me read the messages. Okay, now, Hero, I don't know what is, you know, with you and everybody else here, but, like, Hero, like, can you not defend me, please? Thank you. But, um, now, I mean, Leon pretty much does have a point here. I mean, I don't know what is with, you know, with you guys and Leon here, but, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, whatever's going on with you and Leon, I'm going to leave that between you two. Um, let's see. Uh, Grand King says, Hero, whatever beef you got with these folks, I told you straight, you brought that on yourself. I mean, I, I mean I'm going to have to agree with that one on Hero. I mean, you pretty much were kind of, you know, getting yourself into these situations as well. So let's see. DCX, uh, Cubix. Uh, Brandon talking about the memes, which uh, I've got a weird question for you, by the way. Uh huh. <laughs> all right, what, what's you, the weirdest uh, uh, question, Junko? All right, Junko, today have you received any weird phone calls by any chance? What, uh, today have you like received any weird phone calls? No, I have not received any weird phone calls. Why? Okay, Stealth, that phone number you gave me is not accurate. Oops. I never gave you a phone number. What number? Yeah, uh... <laughs> okay, what <laughs> phone number? Where is it? Nah, I'm sorry, sorry bro. Junko, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. I'm tripped out. I'm just bugging. Okay, because the thing is, I never give people my phone number. I have not. I have not received any phone calls. I don't know why you're asking me about that. Is there a number that, that's been trying to call me? Yep. Okay, let me see. Let me see the. Uh... <laughs> Yo, Stealth, could you please stop them beating in the chat, bro? Huh? Who's you try and stop the beef in the chat, bro. Who's Cohen. that? Oh, uh, uh, what's the other name? What warrior? I think. Who? Is that her new name? Where are you? I'm just trying to check. Out. No, Israel. Oh, what's going on? Hey, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that. I was I was just uh, clicking on the on the things. Hold on, hero. I'm not turning on you. I'm not turning on you, hero. I'm not turning on you. Wait, wait, stealth is. I'm um, just being. That, I'm being 100 honest. I'm not turning on. You. Is that t- Tanuki guy the the lolly lover? Yeah, the yellow teeth guy. Maru, yeah. I'm friends with him. Oh, oh, I, I, oh I, him! Yeah. The weird hairy belly of pure yellow teeth. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, hero's my friend. I, I talk Does to he him. know that like having lolly con is literally a crime? Like it's class to CP. Even if it's yeah, anime, well, you'll it's, have to it's talk to him crime. about that. Talk to him about that, not me. No, he I wasn't away talking that. about that to you. I'm not no, the we're... one, you know. I'm not the one who's been, you know, making community posts about it. I mean, Hero has, not me. 
stuff. I'm I don't totally you... losing brain okay, cells. Yeah, hold on. Hey, mate. Yeah, this coordinate. Right, hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, hold shit. On. Sorry, bro. Oh. Sorry. Stop. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's calm down now. Okay. Sherry says, Junko, did you show an 11 year old porn pictures? No, I did not. So, so Junko, would you be comfortable screen sharing your Discord DMs with the eight year old? I do not have any of the um I do not have any screenshots. I do not have any DMs because that is but, but, since but just, just a minute ago account. you said you're gonna check the DMs to read the message. No, I said I was gonna check the thing to see if I was receiving phone calls. Well I, I recorded different. Yeah, you did say about the phone calls part. When I asked the context of the message between you and the eight year old girl. You said you're gonna go back and check, and you. I don't. You, I don't. You said, well, I'm I don't checking, remember I'm checking, saying I'm checking. that. I wasn't saying it about those messages. I wasn't saying anything about the messages. I did not Dude. say anything about the messages. I meant the phone calls. That's what I meant to say. The phone calls. Let's let's <laughs> say that you had an eight year old daughter, right? And someone, you know, your age, start a role play with them, you know, sexually on Discord. How how would that make you feel? I mean that would make me feel disturbed if I if I were to see that. Okay, what what how would you feel though? If I saw them doing the intimate stuff, right? Yeah, I guess. Cubics Hold love on. to know if you're Before attracted I to underage girls. Cubics, I, I made that clear. I'm not attracted to underage girls. Like I don't know how many times I have to answer that question. Well, is that some people come I in a little bit later? So again, please, I made that very clear. I made yeah, that very clear, and I do people not are, want to have this again. People are joining the stream, and yeah. most likely maybe yeah. didn't hear that before, so they're thank you again. Thank okay. you. You're about so to become anyway, a victim if you don't be quiet. All right, hold on, hold on. So. All right, L let's just get back on subject before I really um, before I lose my train of thought here. Um, so <coughs> let's see. Fifteen year old and back in twenty twenty. Yo, Junko. So got... As I said, Junka, as I Junka. said before. Junka. Okay. Junka. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, sweet. Okay. Sweet let me finish. Right. What? Hey? No, you, you said something. What did you say? I said my little fairy cake. I don't get it. You're my little fairy cake. I, I'm never going to understand the world, you know? I'm never going to understand the world. Better. Yeah, like, the, the thing that I will never understand is why men uh, groom eight-year-old girls. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's just finish this up. So, so pretty much, you know, I don't think Zexio would be flirting me. Oh, I am, I mean, sweetie. Zexio doesn't even like me. You're not wrong. Like I said, I mean, I mean, Zexio probably hates me for all I know. Do, do you know what happens to these children when creatures as yourself groom them? I mean, I, I, you know, since ever since, you know, all this, you know, I, I know about it. And frankly, I felt pretty bad. I felt very terrible. I, I, be, be honest. Okay. The more honest you are, the more friendly I get. Okay. So, um, how many minors have you actually groomed like be truly honest it's never only one is it come on i mean i know that um when i was you know 16 and i made this clear i've used to talk to people that were not my age before but again at that time i never understood the rules of dating i never understood the um what is that i never understood the laws of it either i never fully understood all of it. Oh, no, and, you know, okay, okay. Like well, I said, my mindset 16, was right? not so. my mindset was not good. My yeah, it still isn't clearly. Out. Take some Xanax or something, bro. Um but 
Xanax, um, what? Oh no, I, I said just, just just ignore that, all right? But have you are you grooming any manners now? Be honest. Well the thing is I have not like I said, I have not really groomed you know not like, really. Could you what? put that in more explanation for me? Well, the thing is, here's what I know. Like I said, I know I've had, you know, some conversations. And I know at two points I was, um, I was once uh, catfished. Like I said, oh, I was God. catfished before. Yeah, so but what I'm trying to those. say here, pal, okay, buddy, bun bun, fairy, okay. Have you recently groomed a child? No, I have not recently groomed anybody. I have okay. not recently can, can talked you, can to Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor, though? Could you, uh, could you swear on your mother's life? Could I what? Swear on your mother's life. Okay, why would I want to swear? Like, swearing is wrong. Yeah, don't try and twist what I said here, pal, okay? Uh, swear on your mother's life that you uh, haven't groomed any minors recently. I have not groomed anybody recently. But you got to say, I swear on my mother's life. Well, I mean, more like I swear on my own life. But no, it has to be your mother's, you see. It. Specifically your mother's, because you're worthless. You know you're worthless. So you're fine with saying your own life. But what we're trying to say here is, could you swear on your mother's life? I mean, I could. But like I said... Oh, go exactly. on then. If you, if you didn't groom minors, then then go ahead. But the thing is, I did not groom any minors recently. I did not. Okay, Wait, well, then swear, swear on your mother's life then. Okay, I swear I did not do it. No, you must say, I swear on my mother's life. All right, I swear on my mother's life. Okay. Now, do you have a Bible nearby? I have a Bible, yes. Okay, could you, can you do me a favor? Could you uh, put your hand on the Bible and say to God that you haven't, you know, groomed manners recently? I'm very sure God knows that already because I pray to but, God. But it's so. just to respect God, right? So just put your hand on the Bible and then say, I have I not do groomed pray. manners recently. The thing recently. is, I pray, though. I pray, though. Isn't that what believers do? They pray. Yeah, delusional people pray. But anyway, could you put your hand on the Bible and say, yes, I have not groomed any minors this year? Like, I, um, because the thing is, I have not groomed anybody recently at all. I have not groomed anybody recently. All I right, when was the last time you groomed a child? Be honest. Child. Be honest. It's one-on-one. Well, on one. I'm, I'm being quiet the whole time. The hero, man. Relax. Am I taking your spot, uh, sloppy? Don't we? No, 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 no. I'm just I'm reading the comments and uh, it's I like remember. they're saying that we're dogpiling him and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I've been quiet the whole time. So be honest. When was the last time you groomed a minor? Are you talking about the last time I, you know, had the uh, the sexual RP and stuff? For fuck's sakes! Yeah. When was the last time you had any sort of sexual conversation with a child? Back when I was 17. Okay, now put your hand in the Bible and say it. I, but I have repented. Okay, but, but just put your hand in the Bible and say, I have not groomed any minors since I was 17. All right, I have not, you know, done any... I have not done any um, grooming or any form of uh, sexual RPing onto anyone that's younger than me since, you know, I was, you know... Since I was now, in my late teens. I, I, now, listen, I am a religious man myself, so I do well, know are? a specific... Yeah, yeah, so there's, I know a specific dance that will clear all your grooming sins. Wait, so, wait, since you're... Okay, since you're religious... Okay, what, what's your religion? What's your religion? My religion? I'm a Christian. So you're a Christian? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I am looking for Christians to talk to, so, I well, mean, you do okay, well, seem like well, someone I can talk to, though, that, for help, so do you think... Demon! <laughs> See, don't listen to that guy. 
he likes to rape his own sister. Okay, yeah. don't like rapists. I, you know, well, I'm not focused on Arthur. I am not focused on him. I like, like I said, Zaxio. I, I've already made it clear to you. Whatever you have with Arthur and you, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep that between you both. Mm -hmm. to okay. Talk, like I said, if you yeah. both want to, you know, talk okay. and you know yeah. all this other stuff. Like I no. said, mm -hmm. no. Like I said, that's between what, what, you guys. There's this, there's a, there's actually a dance you can do. It's like a prayer dance, right? And when you do this, it actually clears your sins. Like straight clears them. So do you want to do that dance for us now? Just to prove I'm you're, terrible. You're, I'm terrible at dancing. No, no, no. It's like it's it's not like a crazy dance. Like a, it's literally just a, a prayer dance. Well, I mean, some I I don't really think some people have to do a dance in order to get their sins, you know, lifted. You see, well, the thing all, is, you, all you gotta do is gotta do six jumping jacks and say God, God, God. Okay, so, so you gotta do. Well, I mean, unless if you know, like you know. Like, I know that, you know, some believers in God probably do that. But, I mean, the thing is, as for me, what I do is that I just sit I and I, I you know, I get on my knees, you know, because that's what most people do, right? They get on their knees so you get and it. they say, God, forgive. And, and they say, God, forgive me for the sins that I have committed and that, you know, that I want to be forgiven. I forgive everybody. I'm not going to hold yeah. grudges. I'm right. going to let it all go. And, and you know, you know, because the thing right. is, you know, God wants us yeah. to be forgiven. He does. Yeah. So, and God also says, don't judge. Okay. Judging is a sin, right? That is entirely correct. Yeah. But so why see, does God judge if it's a sin? I know there is a thing called righteous judging, but the thing is, I'm not wanting <laughs> to judge anybody. I do not want to judge anyone. That's yeah, not I'm not. Right. I'm not saying you here, pal. Okay, I'm just saying if your so-called God is real, He claims judging other people is a sin. Yet He also judges pe judges people. Am I right? Okay, repeat the. Okay, repeat the thing again. Okay, so your so-called God claims judging is a sin, but doesn't God Himself also judge people of their sins? Well, yes, you see, the thing is, yes, there, well, the thing is, there actually is a thing called righteous judging. Um, it's, it, there, there, you'll find it in the Bible. In the, in the Bible, you'll find something that talks about righteous judging. Um, now, there is now, a thing. What, uh, um, would you also agree that uh, God is one of the biggest causes for child grooming and molestation? I don't think God would support child grooming at all. God would never really? support that. So his churches with his priests, his nuns, they, they don't touch kids in any way, sort of, you know, form? Well, the priests that go around touching kids are probably false. Um, well, the, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. You see, the, the thing is, the priests that go around doing sins, like, you know, violating kids and stuff, doesn't wouldn't that he, those would make them false priests? If the thing is, if if you know, see, Jesus actually did warn us, and I don't know if you saw the Bible too. Um, there is scripture where Jesus actually does call out false prophets, and the thing is, there will be false prophets in this world that will claim that that they are of God. But yet, you know, that, you know, let's see, they claim that they're God, but yet, you know, they're doing the thing, you know, see, they're doing the thing, you know, that, that is against God, right? So wouldn't that make you a false preacher? Indeed, indeed. But anyway, um, well, me personally, I don't give a shit about God, okay? I'm a Satanist. Um, but I but thought anyway. you told me you were Christian, though. He's a I'm demon. Alive. I, I, I just didn't. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so did you flirt with the eight-year-old first, or did she flirt with you? I don't think there was any flirting, rather, but I know pretty much, I know I started that RP. There was, I did not flirt, though. 
I, at least I don't remember doing that. I don't think there was any flirting of any kind. Okay. Um, what kind of what kind of messages that you send each other that you send like yeah. oh I'm gonna put my thingy on in your vagina or hold on can I hold on, I'm gonna go get some water real quick I'm actually thirsty so just give me right. a second while yeah. I go refill yeah, my sure. water yeah, bottle I, I'm kind of thirsty for you daddy ah <laughs> okay can can we not say that here thank you but right. let me just right. go get some uh right. let me uh, sure. hold on hold up hold up hold up let, let me go get some water I'll be right back give me one Did second. Did you know if you put salt in water and drink it it like gives you health benefits like a whole tub of it I Is that really go. a safe thing to do of Yeah you can do that It's sodium it's good for you Well I mean I could try salt water I mean I could see you know I mean don't swallow it, it just google it I, mean, I don't yeah. like I said I never I know I have tasted salt water before, and I know it was not a good taste. But was it from an eight-year-old girl? I'm to cleaner water. <laughs> but no, I right, right go, go, yeah, go get water. Go get water. Yeah, I'm gonna go get water. I'll be right back. All right, for sure. All right, what's up, uh, Vexio? What's up, no. uh, the chat? I'm trying to put I'm all the messages, uh, highlight them, so so you guys know that I'm reading them because yeah, it's been crazy. And then, been the uh, don't block anyone, you know, whoever's in my mod, don't block anyone. Uh, let them say, as long as they don't spam, if they're spamming, then yeah, block them. But if they're saying whatever they want to say, you guys are big, big boys. So you guys could defend yourselves in, in the chat. You know, I'm not, I don't censor nobody from saying what they feel, man. You guys could defend yourselves all the time, regardless of who's talking shit. As long as, as like I said, you're not spamming, then you guys could talk shit. What's not correct you? Yes, you see, queen. the lion is in here still fucking calling us demons and shit. <laughs> right here. W. Oh, no, that's not. That's a different one, I think. Wait. Is it? <laughs> I, I can't check if it's the real lion. It might be the uh, Marty lion. Marty's been using a lot of. Uh... I'm back. Hey, what's up? All right. I am back. So. All right, so yeah. I don't know if you were asking me questions, Zexio, but um, give Arthur the link. Uh oh, no, no, no. Maybe after, maybe no. after. Uh, no, uh, jump Ar Arthur, no, no. Arthur, you can't. Okay, I guess you, you can't. can't it's come the... to Arthur. No, because that that's gonna make things worse. No, yeah. I don't want things to get worse, Arthur. No. Uh uh. No. Hey, Arthur, no. I was wondering if we could make a porno together. Like, I could be your sister and you could be just you, you know, the brother. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was, uh, <laughs> so I was yeah, asking. Uh, again, I'm keeping this between you and Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're talking about, yeah, we're talking about us. No, we're talking about you and uh, the EU. Okay, and also, uh, and, and Hero, can you stop arguing with everybody, please? Thank you. But anyway, uh, Zexio, okay. Okay, Zexio, I do not know if you were asking me anything prior to me being right back, but can you ask me um, Can you ask me the question again, please? Uh, I can't even remember it. I remember. You I can try. just rewind. All right, I can try to uh, I can try to rewind the stream. Let me see if I got it. No, you yeah, don't worry about it. I'll ask you the question. Um, so what kind of role playing did you do? Like, did you say, "Oh, I'm inserting my thing in your vagina," or, or my 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 hands are rubbing on your breast? What what kind of role play did you do with this um, eight year old uh, individual? I told you, it's the it's two characters getting intimate. I know, but what kind of like? But you guys are writing to each other, so what kind of intimacy was said? Well, pretty much. I mean, like I said, it's the usual like sexual stuff. It's the usual sexual stuff. Mostly. Could you, uh, let me, let me uh, Zexio, Zexio, me and you will role play, and then you let us know if that's what you said. All right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready, okay. Chunko? Right, all right, hold on. Hold on. I, I'm okay. not. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Oh, you're I'm the girl, looking, Victor, I'm looking I'm the at the chat. Hold on. Like I said, I'm too okay. Ela Burger, you know, get your beverage. 
Calm down. <laughs> I already have my out. beverage. I already have my beverage. Don't make okay, it more so, pressure, though. <laughs> so before you get to your thing, I mean, I will, I will admit, yeah, I mean, it did have, you know, the touching breasts. It did have, you know, you know, the sexual stuff with the two characters getting intimate. Damn, that's what yeah. intimacy so, so, is, right? So I can ask you a question. How old was this apparent character? Ayano Aishi, look, I, I have not played Yandere Simulator. I don't really think the creator of Yandere Simulator ever made that clear. Yeah, but so, I'm, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to decide how does the character look? The character I use and the character she was using. Well, the thing is, I do not know the ages of the characters. I do know that I'm just going to say underage. I'm just going to say underage. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. I have here, I have heard that, you know, Vocaloid characters are technically, like, ageless, I think. I, I've heard something like that. Um, like I said, I, I know that people have been, you know, like, uh -huh. like okay. debating. Like, people yeah. have actually been debating on, you know, age when it comes to characters yeah. from uh, Vocaloid. Okay. But could like, you just give an estimate of how old they were, you know, instead of talking for 20 minutes straight? <laughs> I told you I do not know. Why don't we so look it up? How old were how old did they look? I do know that uh let me see. So Ayano Aishi, she I, I literally am hearing that she is apparently according to what I'm researching on Google right now. Uh, the character is either like a like pretty much more of an 18 year old technically I think from what I'm seeing some are saying it's 17 and people are saying is uh is 18 so I, I don't know what what do you believe what do you believe yeah, probably, probably younger but so mean stuff we're gonna do this uh, uh, sloppy sorry I'm gonna do this uh, role play thing. Oh here we go. I found the okay. So I found Ayano Aishi's yeah. age. So Ayano Aishi from Yandere Simulator, her age is eighteen. Okay, so that's okay. good then I guess that part. So, no, well, he already admitted that um that he he did talk about grabbing breath and touching buttocks. Yeah, I did say that. Um, Kaido Sheehan. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I do not okay. think he has an age, but let me see. Uh, the, the age uh, don't matter no more. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so after uh, but, you found out, it, but, wait, why are you saying that age doesn't matter? Doesn't no, age I'm saying the matter? age of the individual doesn't matter because it's uh, it's it's eighteen and eighteen. It don't matter, but you were still talking to an eight year old. Um, right, but my right. question is, I mean, that's um, no excuse. Yeah, my question is, after you found out that she was eight years old, did you still keep role playing with her? After you found that out, point, until that was mostly until, you know, I got exposed for that originally. Okay, and so so if you wouldn't have gotten exposed by your friends or your, or so-called friends, you would have kept going with the eight-year-old. Pretty much, I would have stopped from there. But again, though, I was really carried away at that time, and the thing is, I had no idea what I would get okay. myself into. Hold on, let me read. Let me read the. Uh, let me read the chat. Let me read the chat. Let me read the chat. Man, oh man. Tanuki Maru, just like how Aunt Juan kisses your A constantly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, well, the thing is, I mean, well, then again, I know Hero and Aunt Juan are friends, but I mean, I wouldn't really say, you know, kiss A. But then again, though, it, it's, I, I know that kiss A is usually just figure of speech. Okay, I know that. I don't want anybody, you know, telling me, oh, figure of speech. I know that. Look, I have people that tell me figure of speech all the time. Let me see. Arthur says drugs messed up people's behavior. It helped too a lot. I mean, I can agree with Arthur on that one. Uh, Grand King is like, oh, you're giving me lip. And I'm like, all right, hold on. If you read the messages, it's going to take you forever to read them because they're constantly okay, coming. Okay, hold on. So. Hero, okay. Okay, Hero and the gang. Hero and the gang. Can you knock it off with the constant arguing? Okay. Can you guys knock it off with the constant arguing and literally just at least ask me some questions here? Because 
what you guys are doing, arguing with each other, it's not helping. Okay. And, you know, y'all got to, like, I think everyone needs to mature here a little better. Okay. Thank you. All right. Like I said, <laughs> anyone can say and do childish things. Even I've done childish things. Like I said, I'm not, you know, like I said, I, I think people just need to stop acting childish and just, you know, just get to the point. We all need to. Yeah. I believe so. I believe that too. The stop acting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. You guys have a respect you for any chance. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Too. I hate uh, hero. What's up? Anyways, so um, I think well, that's pretty much. I don't know what else you want. We, we can ask you. You know we. Yes. So what you finish going? Let's just keep going. Can, can I can I ask you a question? question? Okay. What do you want to mm. ask me? So, so pal. So, are you wondering if you have a spare toothbrush for me? Maybe some Calgate. Uh. Maybe you know the you know a good dentist or something. Okay, th this is kind of unsettling me a little bit. This is not really settling me. How about this? You rub my chin and I rub yours. Uh, n no. Why is that? <laughs> Lollycon. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, oh, uh... Okay, I, I I don't really think we need to get into that now, do we? So, do you condone uh, Lollicon? You're asking me if I condone Lollicon. Yes. I mean, I do know that Lollicon is very debatable. So, I do not have a definitive answer on this. But I knew that there are people that stand for Lollicon and some people that don't stand for it. I'm very aware of this argument that has been happening for pretty much a very, very, you know, long time. It has been happening for about years and stuff like that. You know, with, um, you know... No. <laughs> My bad. You know, with the whole... Uh, with the whole stance, I, I don't even know. I don't got a, um, I don't have a definitive answer. She said she was 18. Okay, that, that's not funny, dude. Can you not use pictures of me in a hospital bed? That's not funny. Dude, that's like totally me. <laughs> I told you he was meaner than okay, me. I, I was... really ask you to not do that because... Dude, like, you're making me feel uneasy here. So as I was saying, look, I know about the, um, I know about, like I said, the debates. So I don't know what side I would be on for the whole thing for the most part. But all I know is that, you know, I heard people say it's bad. Some people, you know, say it's not bad. I don't even know. I mean, like I said, maybe it is bad. I mean, I don't even know. Like I said, I'm not the main source. Mm -hmm. You should be asking about that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a detective. Hey, Stel, uh, Sloppy, Sloppy. What's up? Um, hypothetically, anime speaking, do you have any young daughters? <laughs> What? I would say about eight or younger. <laughs> nah, man. I'm all out of those. Yes, because I ate half of them. <laughs> <Ugh>. <I'm> crazy. <laughs> no, but, uh, so, what are you, what's next for you, uh, uh, Junk? What are you going to do now? Because a lot of people dislike you. Uh, we sent uh, the videos to the police a lot, like a couple days ago. Um, yeah, I know you. I, uh, you know, I'm aware yeah. of that. Like I said, I know we're going to question yeah. you about this. Yeah, but... qu they're going to question you and all that, uh, and then they'll they'll decide. 
you know what they're gonna do. We we just give them the information. Uh, so so that it's on them to do what they need to do. We we can't tell you if they're gonna go and visit you or not. We that's up to them. They told us that they were gonna have a conversation with you, but that they always say that. I know. I mean, like I said, I've had conversations, you know, with, you know, with the psychiatrist. I had conversations with the, with doctors. So if I got to have a conversation with the cops, I'll have to take on that challenge. And, you know, I got to see what comes up from there. So, What do you think someone like you deserves as punishment? I'm sorry, what? Okay, let me say this in a way you'll understand. <clears throat> what do you think a person like you did? Okay, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You, you're saying what? What do you? Uh, what do you think a person asking, like you okay, should get punished? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, I'm just, you know. So pretty much, are you? So, so I'm guessing you're asking me what I think should happen to me. Yes, sweetie pie. All I can say is, you know, I, you know, I do wish I was dead. So do I, to be honest. I, 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 I mean, uh, you don't deserve that, King. What? I have no idea what you just, you know. You, you know, you know, when I was younger. Um, let me say, hit this vapor real quick. Hang on. Okay, what is, what happened to you when you were younger? When I was younger, I had a good friend, and I walked in on him hanging from his ceiling. And you know why that is? Uh, because of all this stuff, stuff like no, that. No, because of people like you, people that take the innocence away from children. He's saying a kid hung like himself. The kid hung himself because he got R worded by another person and he couldn't take the stress. That's what he's trying to say. So that's why he does these things to pedophiles. Oh, so not just that. Alright, something fucked up happened to me as a kid. I didn't get raped or anything, right? But I was made to watch something that I didn't really want to watch in real life, you know what I mean? And uh the guy got away with it. Right, and and uh, speaking for all victims right now, the feeling that you get when the police come and hug you and say, oh, sorry, bro, the judge just threw it out. I mean, that's the type of shit you cause, bro. But the thing is, you know, wouldn't they, uh, but wouldn't the police mostly investigate your computer or something to see if you're having, like, CP or something? Well, you've been talking to an eight-year-old girl, okay, buddy? Well, the thing I'm, is, it, I don't it, have, I don't even have that stuff. That's the thing. Okay, I don't okay. Have any. I'm, I'm just saying, if that was my eight-year-old daughter or my eight-year-old son, I would fucking put you for a concrete wall. First, I'd need to obviously lift weights, okay? Because you're a pretty hefty guy. Let's be honest here, okay? I would Body not call movement. myself hefty. Yeah, I wouldn't call you hefty. I'd probably call you like something like a majorly obese. The thing is, you know, I, like I said, I, I do not think I'm hefty or strong at all. I mean, I know I was strong enough, you know, to break a wall. I was strong enough to do that. For fuck's sakes, just stop playing with your own ego. All right, pal? I don't, I'm not having an no, ego. No, 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 no. You keep saying I, 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 but it's never. I know I keep oh, saying I. The victim. The thing is, I'm not no, the having victim, an ego. The victim. I'm, I'm just but no, saying, it's constantly I, mean, I, I, am strong, I, I, I was strong I, enough to break a wall, but I'm not. You know not... how fucking easy it is to break a wall, pal? It, it, it's well, not I mean, like it is, I you know, shit. I mean, it is. Like, the thing is, it, it can be easy depending on how, you know, you can break it. But the thing is, I, like I said, I have broken a wall once. I'm Hello, not proud guys. of that either. But okay, okay, I don't I give a shit. Anyway. Listen, Junko, Junko, you're giving me fucking brain cancer here, pal. All right, what I'm trying to say here, all right, buddy, jubbly bubbly, 
buddy. Okay. <sighs> the fact is, you keep saying I, 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 but where's the oh, you know, the victim? Okay. All you talk about is your fucking self. Like you think you you think this is some sort of TV show. You feel this is boosting your ego right here, pal. Think about the fucking child you ruined. Because you're not important. I couldn't give a shit what happens to you. But I let's just think about the eight year old here. Before. I, I have, you know, break, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about the victim, like, ever since. Okay, so if the victim was here right now, what would you say? I mean, I, um, I would tell the victim how sorry I am. How, you know, I wish I should have never done that. Or I wish I had never done that. And, you know, I, I really wish I would have thought about the stuff, you know, before, you know, or you mean thought about it before I did it. I'm sorry. Like, sorry, my wording is not that good. Nah, it's all right, sweetie pie. But, but like, um, here's what really tickles my pickle here. How would an oh, eight year old. Okay, can we not? Okay, can we not? Um, say this type of stuff, <laughs> but anyway, ask me the uh, okay, question, okay. Yeah, ask so, me the so, question. You, so, you're okay to make an eight year old feel uncomfortable? No, 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 no. Okay, I never said, I never said that. I okay. never said that. No, okay. you know, I said that. You didn't say that. You're correct, All right? Okay, uh, okay, okay. You, you speak. Go ahead, you speak. You okay, speak. okay. All right. Ask, ask me the good. question, yeah, for sure. Okay. Still, so before I get into any more, do you want to say anything, bro? No, I'm just really, um, like, Cola want to be a mod, but I think okay. uh, if you're online, as I said, you can make a mod. I think I have you as managing moderator or something like that. Uh, who do I make mod? Uh, Cola. Uh, oh, no, okay, I did. Yeah, uh... I don't have issues, bro. <laughs> All right. All right, go on. All right. All right. So. so... All right, so ask the question. Okay, so how did this eight-year-old, okay, an eight-year-old, someone that doesn't even know about anything about sex, let's be honest here, okay, let's be fully fucking honest. Let's just act like we're talking about any normal eight-year-old, okay? This eight-year-old does not know anything about any sort of sex. So the only person I think taught her that would be you. Now, here's the thing, though. I do not know how she would know how that is. But then again, though, like I said, I know that she was a role player. Like, she's been on that role-playing Discord server as much as I was. Well, I wouldn't say I was on that Discord server for long anyway. Because I knew about the server pretty much when... I, 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 don't, like, I do not know when that server was first made. That's the thing. You can't ask me that one because I don't know when that was first made. Okay. But like, and because because to me, wait, did you know she was eight before the role play or after? After, not before. It was after. Is that true, Slops? Um, a little bit, but he still role played a little bit after she he found out she was eight. So you role played yeah, with me after I you said. found out as well. Before and after, and then, you know, I got exposed for it. So the only reason why you stopped grooming her is because you got exposed. Mostly I stopped grooming her because, you know, now I, you know, I realized, you know, yeah, you really should not do that. And I realized what I've done was wrong. I'm not going to blame it on anybody but myself. I have no one but myself to blame. And that's uh, not why I tried to say there, but um, but I just want to know why you kept going after you found out she was eight years old. Like I said, like I said, I told you my mindset was not in the right place at the time, so even then. Like I said, you know, okay, yeah, because at that okay, time, so, you know, as I have right, told so, you, so, I've so, been... you, you've never groomed any of the minor, right? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You asked me if I never groomed, 
No, no. Fucking open your ears, mate. All right, I'm asking, have you groomed any of the minor this year? No, I have not groomed any minors oh, this okay. year. I have not, you know... Okay. Well, anyway, so could you uh, debunk that for us? Could you screen share your Discord account? Okay, my Discord account. Which one? Yeah. Was it the one that I got exposed on or... Anyone you want? Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Because I think I was having this, you know, deleted. Mm -mm. I was actually planning on deleting it, so. Okay. Why would, why would you uh, delete it? I'm going to get it up in just a sec here. I know the only one I had that was, I think, minor at the time. And this was actually someone that I have, you know, that has been coming to me first about okay. this. And there was it, no it sexual matter, interaction you're, you're, with that you're, one. you're a man. You're a man. All right, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me one second. So I will admit there is one, you know, person that, you know, that has come to me, but also has come to bio as well. Um, as she has been, you know, having an issue with, um, with Arthur, do you know, someone named, hold on. Do you know someone named Kylie Caperton? You, you just dox a 16 year old, but yeah, I know who she is. No, that I have, I did not dox her that, that she put that name out there herself. Okay. Well, not that's not her Discord name. name. Is it? Her Discord name is Kylie. But her YouTube name says it. It's on her YouTube. Okay. That's well, you shouldn't be saying YouTube that because you just I did exposed not, this thing. I did not dox Kylie. So I know some people were doing that, but I did not dox Kylie. Someone else, like, I know some people were trying to dox Kylie. The thing is, Kylie put that name out herself. I'm asking, do you know someone named Kylie Caperton? I'm, I'm not quite sure, pal, if you've got fucking hearing issues or something. But about two, three, four fucking times, I said, yes, I knew who Kylie is. Okay. That's all I was asking. Okay. Now, can you screen share? Now, Caper, now, Kylie Caperton, she is a minor. But the thing is, I have not, you know, done any sexual talking or sexual role play. She was actually, I actually was actually helping Kylie in defending her against people like um, Wolf. Yeah, you shouldn't, you, know be, you shouldn't be near kids. Because the thing is, um, I did not fall in love with Kylie. What the heck? I, I did not have any relationship with Kylie. Okay, that was Trout Slayer that did. Trout Slayer had a relationship with Kylie, not me. I can even prove that I had no sexual interactions with Kylie. I okay, can prove fucking this. prove it. I'm going to prove it. You, you it's nearly 3 a.m. Sorry, up, bro. Damn, 3 a.m. over there. God. Okay. Barely almost Let's 7 over here. Show the thing. So, give me a minute while I sign into the app version. Give me one second while I do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. It takes a while for me to sign up on these things. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Sure. Are you, are right, you, using, me, a, are you using a computer? I'm on a computer. I yeah, just need some time to sign in real quick. Give me a minute. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I'm. I'm gonna. I've actually just messaged Kylie. I'm gonna try and work her her away from you. I'm sorry. You were trying to message Kylie before, or no, no, no. I I am messaging her, messaging her right now. I'm trying to get her to block you. Okay, so I'm going to show the messages right now. <laughs> this one's funny. Know. All right, going to show the thing right now. Second here. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to show the thing. Let me get the, uh, let me get my screen share tools. Let me get my uh, screen share to Yeah, sloppy. What's up? Is this a vengeance? Talking shit to us, bro. No? Why? 
No, I'll just make sure. All right. No, he's talking about All our right. uncle. All right. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They love us, man. Come on. Oh, sorry, Vengeance. <laughs> I think they love right. us. Hopefully. Um, all right. So the screen share is already. Yo, so... uh, Stealth. Uh, f- What's up? Sloppy. Uh, you need to uh, accept his screen share request, bro. How the fuck yeah, do you do that? Yeah, you need to do that. Um, you hit the, um, you have, okay, so when I hit the screen share, you pretty much have to, um, All right, go for you it. pretty much have to accept the screen share and it'll, and it'll show it. All right, better about not be from, from little girls right, or something. I'm, all right, I'm showing the window. So what you need to do is yeah. you need to, um, okay, do you see it? Yeah, scroll very slowly. All right. So I'm going to take it very slowly. So this is the um, this is the conversation we had since 2022. So I'm going to scroll down here. So this has been so the first instance of the conversation was on October 25th. Um, pretty much. This is when she was telling me about Arthur. That's who he was. She, uh, she was referring to as the reptile. Um, yeah, yeah. She just, was just, telling just me how Cobra was talking about me. This was in November thirteenth. Yeah, I don't and, care. It's, it's scrolling. Yeah, she was talking to me about you know Cobra. Oh, and this was back when Cobra, you know, was uh. Was yeah, going just at keep me. uh, just keep. Don't you don't uh, you don't have to explain everything. You were just reading the re- reading it real quick. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, let's continue scrolling. Uh, Dark Horse, she's uh, 16 now. I don't know how long ago was this. So here you have the... Uh, so this is when she invited me to a uh, stream yard with her and the Umbrella Robster 97 at the time. She's 16. Now she's 16, but what, what, are that, what year was that messages? This... You don't have to go all the way up. So this is on January 15th here. So Umbrella Robster 97, if you don't know who he is, that's somebody that Leon has were you, a problem. Were you trying to date this Kylie girl? No. I Keep was not. Keep down. Keep scrolling down a little bit. So, Keep scrolling down. So this is when she invited me to a stream yard with her and Umbrella Robster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause and it right there. Pause it right there. Okay, so this here... I actually told her to um, to send me this better, so I can send it to so I can send it to somebody. I think it was to Arthur or something. I don't think it's Arthur, but someone uh, pretty much someone that uh, she has a problem with. I told her pretty much to send me. You know, she told me to, like to send me a message to somebody. I don't remember, but this was not directed towards me. This was directed towards somebody else. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, this was when um, she was, you know, talking to Lady M. Light at the time. At that time, mm-hmm. I was out on a trip. Mm-hmm. And um, she, you know, this was during the uh, situation where uh, this was a situation where, like, Umbrella and, like, Funny Guy and Dylan were at it or something like that. I don't want to bring it up. So okay. there's the uh, stream yard. Well, I think I did send her a stream yard link. Oh, could you just shut up, man? And just <laughs> scroll. No, yeah, I am. It's scrolling. okay, Cola. Okay, so here we go. So you you had it as a friend or messenger too. Okay, so you're asking me if I, I did have, like I said, I did talk to her as a friend on Messenger as well. Um, she has been sending me screenshots and has been, um, pretty much has been coming to me about situations that she has been having. And I have actually been giving her life advice on believing in God and praying for her. I actually have been praying for yeah, her. Yeah, don't, don't brainwash kids, pal, into believing that bullshit. That I'm not brainwashing anybody. That okay. What I'm doing is well, not well, could, could you do a favor? Could you get put your mouse to the left, to your friends, 
the direct messages. All right, why? Just do it. All right, hold on, give me a sec. You just put them. Oh, you, you stopped screen sharing. Oh. Why is that? No, I stopped screen sharing <clears throat> for a reason. Oh, why? Why is that? Because mostly my friends list is kind of private, but um. But I, I wasn't looking at your friends list. I was looking at the direct messages, pal. With with who else? What did you want to see my direct messages with? With the teenagers. Uh. Kylie is one of the is like the only teenager I've you know pretty much been talking to mostly, but we had no like. Did you like, send her a dick pic or something? I never sent Kylie anything. Uh, um, sl sloppy. Uh, sorry for me in here, bro. Uh, I'm that? not any psychologist or anything, but him immediately um, trying not to show the direct message message list. Of users and then stop screen sharing, and that's a that's already a big indication. You know what I mean? Like he had like CP or something, or no, nah, I mean kids. No. One thing is, I know I do not have. I have not been. You know. Well, you, you, if you have nothing to hide, I have nothing to hide. Okay, then screen share your direct messages. All right. Thing Don't is, delete I have not been. You know. So here, you, like I said, I proved to you right here. I have not engaged in any sexual contact okay. with Kylie. Okay. And then take your mouse, take the left side of the screen where it says direct messages, and use a scroll wheel to go downwards. You deleted. I closed some of the DMs because technically, like, I was gonna delete this account anyway when I was done. Mm. But um, all right, go to uh, go to your friends list. So I do have some friends on my friends list. I do. These are some of the people that are like I know I have some friends on here. Oh, but, okay. Um, you see, you see the Ash girl? Click the DMs. All right, let's see. Ashton. Okay, I I don't remember when the last time I talked to this one was. All right, click DMs. It's there's no DMs with this person. That's all. That's so... a grown ass woman. Go back to friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So which one's the minor that you talk to in there? Do you still did you still talk to minors on uh, on your friends list? Well, not sexually at all. I have not been, you know, talking to anybody that's like sexually. So, so why would you uh, need have the need to close DMs with people if you delete in the account? Because I just, you know, wanted to, you know, I, I just wanted to get rid of this account. And the thing is, you know, because I was like done with this one for the most part. But so you only delete half of the DMs, but like leave. The I'm rest mostly of trying to get rid of all of them because I really don't, you know, I don't really want to like be on that account anymore. Technically, I've I've got a question for you, by the way. All right, give me a question. All right, I'm going two minutes. Give me give me a jiffy. Okay. What's the question? I, right, I didn't. I, I'm telling you the question. Uh, do you know? Um, th does this number sound familiar to you? Five hundred and forty. Uh yeah, five hundred and forty. Why? Does Clark County sound familiar? Okay, five hundred and forty what though? Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying. Like, uh, do you know Clark County? Four hundred five hundred and forty. I know the clock countdown. What does that mean? Are you? Am I gonna die or? <laughs> what? There is no clock countdown here, pal. Okay. I'm just saying, do you know an address called, if, I'm not going to say the whole address, it 540 in Clark County? That's not my address. Well, so if I was to order some pizza there now, nothing would happen, right? 
that's not the right I, I do not live at that address that's not mine um i can confirm that's not mine i did say the town and city i live in but the thing is i don't say the uh i don't like i said i do not give out my address but i do not live over there i do not live you know at that address so so how old are you right now all right hold on uh zexio can you type the address in the private chat i will in a minute how old are you right now though i'm 23. okay let's talk about to the police report i'm 23 right now so okay I right, type the address in the private chat because I don't yeah, recall uh, living yeah, in such yeah. a Yeah, yeah. I'll do that in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. Um, I, I don't want to give the address out. You know what I mean? No, you just put it in the private chat. You just put it in the private chat. No one's going to see it. My, I just, I I just see. told you half the address so you'd know if it's yours or not. No, just put the address in the private chat. I'm asking you to do it so I can look at it. Well, you don't need to look at it because I already gave you the first number, few numbers. Yeah, and I'm not familiar with that address. So then you won't need the address then, will you? On what? Because no, I, yeah. I'm not familiar with the address. I don't live at 540 whatever. That's okay. not my address. So, so, so then you don't have to worry about it. Anyways. I mean, I'm worried that <laughs> someone over there is probably gonna um, is probably gonna get hurt. Okay. Thing is, I doubt it very much. Someone is not because I know I do not live at that address. Just a minute, you, you're attracted to minors. Come on, I'm not attracted to them. I told you. Okay, so the way to prove you're not attracted to minors, you must come to England and lick my toe. Okay, why are you asking me to do something that's very disgusting? Excuse me. But that but that is disgusting. I'm not I don't want to go around licking people's feet. That's nasty. Okay. Okay. What what if I have I put a little bit of dog turd on it? Will that make it a little better? I really don't understand what you're doing. W would you lick my foot, okay, if I just put eight years old on it? Okay, I'm not going to go around licking people. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Only eight-year-olds in role play, though. You know, but I'm not going to lick people. You wanted to I'm touch not the eight-year-old girl's breasts. I, am, am I correct? Okay, hold on. Junko, you asked for the... You asked for the address of the nearest police station when you get when you got caught, or did you go to the cops afterward? I mean, I know. Um, I know well, that I did me, ask. Man. I mean, I wanted to ask for the address of the police station, but the thing is, I don't know what address you're talking about. Hold on. You could have just called nine one one, and they would have they would have showed up to your house instead. Hold on. Yes. Uh, Junko, you can see that everyone here just doesn't like you, right? No, it's a different Junko, Kimmy. Because the thing is, like, if you know the address, why don't you put it in the private chat so I can look at it? Later, by okay, but I've already told you half the address. I'm not going to, if that isn't your address, I'm not going to tell you it, am I? Because then I could be putting someone in danger. I know that. I just want to see what the address is. So I'm like, so I know okay, this is not Okay, okay. Right. Well, listen, cupcakes. Okay, I'm not going to give you some random person's address. Yeah, it's not but you were asking use, me if I'm familiar with that address, and I told you no. Okay, then don't fucking worry about it. Like, you're talking about, like, home addresses, but... You're literally giving me a fucking seizure over here, pal. How am I giving you a seizure? You only get a seizure if you're looking at, like, bright lights. Yeah, and well, I can, like I can hear... Lights. 
Well, well, yeah. You're looking at flashing every images, time you you're talk, probably gonna get a seizure. But yeah, but yeah, but what I'm trying to say, every time you talk, the the like the 15 chins you have slaps around. You know, makes a monitor shake like crazy, oh, and all starts to flash and flicker. Like you're asking me, because the thing is, I know you were asking me if I was familiar with the address, and I told you no. Okay, so don't worry about it. All right, I'm yeah. not going to worry that. Yeah. All right, Big boy, you're asking you that you said to kill yourself or something like that. And God, you told yourself that you wanted God to kill you and saying for a vehicle to hit you. Yeah, I did say I wanted, you know, I wanted to get killed and I wanted a vehicle to hit me. Well, but with the looks of you, no offense, you're, you're going to kill yourself eventually anyway. I mean, eating all those fucking burgers ain't going to do you good, is, is it, pal? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna dislike you and uh, stop talking to you. You know, it's it's bound to happen. Uh, you, you, you're probably like fucking inches away from fucking diabetes four thousand, bro. I'm not diabetic. Dark Horse said, uh, "What about the fifteen-year-old you were talking to?" Okay, I can clear that. I can talk about this as well. I'll Damn, bring this 15? up as well since I forgot to include this. Um, so pretty much there was a time when, you know, I actually, you know, dated someone that I thought was, you know, a bit older than I was. And the fact I didn't even know, you know, the actual age at that time, I didn't even know. And then now they're saying an 11 year old boy. 11 year old boy. Why is everyone bringing up an eleven-year-old boy? I never even. Hold on, I think he's. I think they're probably talking about the one in that in that call. What did you send that kid? That uh, he said that you because I saw the guy say, "Oh, he shouldn't have sent you anything." And what did you send that boy that was inappropriate? I have not sent that. I have not even sent an eleven-year-old boy anything. So, have you spoken to an eleven-year-old boy, though? What? For fuck's sakes, you deaf con! Have you spoken to an eleven-year-old boy, though? I know I was friends with the with that one kid named Rido, that one in that video. I I forgot how old he was. I mean, I guess he was. I mean, I don't even know if he was. I don't remember if he was eleven or ten. I don't remember. Again, <laughs> I, you can't expect me to remember everything. Okay, ambiguous virgin says so. You like one? I, I, yes, I never I said I liked them. I never said that. Where's the proof I said that? I never I admitted I just, that. I just want to know why you wanted to touch an eight-year-old girl's breasts. I never said that my taste is underage. Can you stop? My taste is not underage. Okay, but you 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 said you wanted to touch an eight-year-old girl's breasts and role play. Remember? I you never said, said I wanted to touch her breasts. What the heck? Oh, sorry. Let, let me rephrase. You said you did touch her breasts and role play. I did not touch her. That was uh, no on. physical contact. Hang on, hang on. Um, no, I mean online, you fucking spastic. Uh, I've been recording for one hour and eighteen minutes and twenty-two seconds. Where I have got a recording of you saying that you did. Have sexual conversation with an eight-year-old girl, and that you but said that you wanted the, to touch her Discord. fucking breast. No physical contact. And I didn't fucking say physical contact. I said specifically role play. Yeah, it's role play. <laughs> I never said I wanted to touch an eight-year-old breast. Listen, listen. Stop? I want you to come to my country. Okay, we're gonna sign a contract. Okay, we're gonna go boxing ring. I'm gonna fucking knock you the shit out. Well, why are you threatening me? I, I did not even say Listen, even listen, fucking you. chubster. All right. You groomed an eight year old fucking girl. You are a why disgusting, are you me up? vile why are you to piece beat me of up? shit. I never threatened you. Why are you going to threaten to beat Because me up? you're a fucking predator, pal, okay? And it might be hard to sink in to that fat fucking heart of yours, but you, sir, are a fucking predator. Because the thing is, I've made this clear to you that you, I mean, I'm not even threatening anybody. No, I have it's, not it's threatened just to hurt fact you. That, that you're so 
fucking retarded. It's unbelievable. But you can't threaten violence on people if they did not threaten violence on you. Did Listen, you, you threaten violence on me on. when you groomed an eight-year-old girl, on. pal. All right, because you are a did fucking I violent once, man. Did I once, hold on, did I once threaten violence on you, yes or no? Yes, you did. No, I did not. Where yes, the, when you when I you groomed an eight-year-old girl, I automatically took that as violence. But where did I threaten violence on you? I did not uh, threaten when you, you. Now listen, pal. Okay, open your ears. Okay, remove the fat. You groomed an eight-year-old girl. But that does not mean I threatened violence on you. Well, I don't like predators, and you're a predator, so. But you know, beating people up is not going to make you better, right? Oh, yeah. I, I'm not a good person, obviously. But I just don't want people like you. But even if you have a problem with somebody, the thing is, you got you got to talk it right. You don't just go around mm. saying a bunch of swears when I'm not swearing at you. Okay, okay. Let, let me... Let, I'll be nicer. Okay, I'll be nicer. I'm not calling you names. See, the thing is, I am. have I called you any names? No. I did not call you any names. All right, all right, calm down, priest. Okay, calm down. Um, how many kids you got in the basement? Uh, there's no kids in any basement. Uh, okay? I've got a question to ask you. No one in the basement. Okay. I got, so, okay, I've got a question to ask you. Do you know who Dee's is? Who? Dee's not in your mouth. <laughs> okay, now you're just messing. Um. Oh man! No, I'm not. No, I'm, but, I'm a very calm individual. But there's a lot of people asking questions, and uh, you haven't responded to any of them. Well, how uh, am I supposed to respond to some of them if I'm just going to keep getting, you know? Well, they they want to get it nip it in the bud by you know all the questions you have. Everybody okay, has let different me try types to clear this up. Let me try to clear this up. Let me try to clear this up. All right. Now, Zaxio, I don't know why you'd be recording this when literally this is the entire stream. So, because I know you people like you report my boy with. Sloppy over here. Yeah, but didn't you already like? Wouldn't you already, you know, have a like, already have recorded the stream anyway if it's already public? He likes to have his own. Ugh, I'm such an idiot at life. All right, um. Let me just read the let me just read the freaking questions. So did Hero know about this and how long if so how long ago did he know about it? I mean, I know I once told Hero about it, but I did not know I don't know how long. How do you, how did you react when you told him? Uh, hold on. Question, did you have sex with your sister? No. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? I do not like I said, I do not condone incest. I don't do that. I don't do incest. Incest is not my thing. It's up to Junko. Uh, I I promised him it was only going to be one person. So uh, if he wants to, then yes. But if not, then I can't let him. Uh, I, I promised him. That Dark Horse Perch says, you said you were role-playing and you talked about touching breath. Well, I mean, I said the – I mean, I did say, you know – touching breasts, but I did not say I was going to touch her breasts. I did not say anything about touching the girl's breasts. Again, I did not, you know, you have any physical contact or anything. I didn't say I was going to have physical contact with her at all because we had no physical contact. There were no plans for a physical contact. We had no plans to physical contact at all. So, uh, Cubic said he wants to do a one on one, but I told him it's up to you. I mean, if uh, I mean, if he wants to come in and talk to me, he's free to. Like right. I said, I mean, you, can, you can just why don't you just invite Cubics in here? Can't you just invite him in here? Uh, well, yeah, if I put it on, if I put the link on the stream, then I'm sure a lot of people are gonna you know, join that. Okay, hold on. How long did Hero know about this? 
that I mean, I'm not sure if he if he continued to know about this or if he just forgot about it. But the thing is, I may have tried to tell him. But the thing is, I didn't really think he would get it until, you know, now. So. So he did find out recently. Leon, I already answered the question. Okay, hold up, hold up. Chase said, uh, you told her what to do. I mean, well, I don't know if I really have, you know, told her what to do. Like I said, I don't have the uh, the original chats and stuff. So, I mean, the thing is, I know we've pretty much, you know, told each other what to do. But, I mean, I have not necessarily forced. Put it and then I'll let that Tanuki the- guy in so Zexio can own him. Well, I don't think Tanuki's going to join in. He already left. Mm. Sad. Tanuki already left, so I don't think he wants to deal with this right now. All right, I'm gonna add someone, and Zexio and me will. Did you make the eight-year-old call you master? No, I didn't. I did not make anyone call me master. Junko, um, I I need just um tell you something, to you man. Like, why you didn't just um tell me that um you decide to um making some sort of role plays on an eight-year-old? Okay, so Brandon, I'll I'll ask I'll answer your question now. So. The reason why I never told you is because, you know, I was afraid this was going to happen. I wanted to tell you at one point, but the thing is, I never got that chance to tell you. Junko, when I just saw, saw the video of you, when you just screamed. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Crying. Two minutes. When you just Brandon, screamed. two minutes, two minutes. Yo, Warrior, if you do not stop spreading bullshit, I will leak your nudes to zero. Just saying. Carry on. Okay, why, why would you think that when I'm just saying I have nothing against you, Warrior, but now you've been trying to beef me and shit, trying to leak all this shit onto fucking YouTube community posts, right? If you if you don't, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna send your news to zero and he'll be uploading your shit to fucking the, uh, his community post. What are you talking about? Anyways, back when I'm just trying to say to you, Junko, like, Junko, I when I just saw him saw the video of you back in 2017. You literally decide to um, scream and yelling when you acting like some kind of like a goddamn fucking demon. When you decide to, I'm um, asking people like, "Oh, um, is there uh, the police the sta- uh, police station near?" Um, nobody just gives two shits when you decide to, um, you know, keep on screaming and just yelling after we just um, got caught. When you decide to interacting with this eight year old girl and you're trying to manipulate that eleven year old boy. The one who decides to appear on the panels, or, or or should I say, the Discord panels. Okay, for the last Netflix. time, I did not manipulate an eleven-year-old boy. Well, yes, you did. Well, actually, actually, actually there was no manipulation. Somebody did actually confronting you, Junko. I'm just going to say to you right now, like I don't give a shit if you actual religious or not. That's great. At the same time, you decide to attack on people. It's because people decide to are not believing about your religious bullshit, and you decide to bash you on the LGBT community. Why would you decided to lie on people when you decide to disguise yourself as a religious while you're being a pedo back in 2017? I can't believe this to you, Junko. Like, why would you decide to lie to anybody, anybody, including me? It's because I know you ever since. Ever since back in our um, our high school years, I, I I can't believe this man. Like, you, I like I thought you was supposed to be um I thought be be just cool with you, and then all of a sudden you become a pedo. Like this is why I cannot be interacting with people who's actually a pedophile like you, Junko. You're being a piece of shit. You decide just on keep dodging people's questions when you decide to on made on a role play towards the eight year old girl back in 2017. You're disgusting pedo. And I don't care that you decide to bring it your arm, um, your, oh, God is going to help me. Uh, it's because um, I'm a good-ass Christian. And guess what? You ain't no Christian. You're a pedo. Pedo. Yeah, I said it. I don't get why you'd be swearing at me. I never even swore I'm at you. I'm swearing you. It's because you're a pedo. But that doesn't give Junko. you any authority to go around swearing at people. Junko, what I'm just going to say is like, you're the weakest motherfucker I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. 
But when you try, I never like, said I don't that care. Too. I, I never don't care that. when you decide and when you're saying, like, oh, oh, you can't just go and swear at anybody. And guess you're what? acting like you ain't my parent. You, you ain't my parent. You're acting parent, like, right? you you're ain't acting my like parent, as if I Junko. told you these names. Oh, uh, uh, you're uh, acting uh, like uh, as if I man, called Junko, you these why names. Why don't you just shut the fuck up? And why don't you just cut yourself with this goddamn toothpick of yours? But you're acting like as if I called you any names. I never you called you that like any, any names. Um, Junko, I decided to confront you. It's because when I just find out that you're a fucking pedo. You're a pedo, Junko. You can't, and you decide to um, hide from me over the past, I don't know, few years. And you never you just um, told me that you're a pedo back in 2017. When, this, when you're trying to manipulate that 11-year-old kid and that 8-year-old girl. I never said I even manipulated the eleven-year-old kid. What? Well, well, yes, you did, Junko. I did. I did not manipulate an eleven-year-old boy. I saw it on the video, Junko. You can just keep denying it all you want, and guess what? You just got caught for being a pedo, Junko. You just got deserved when you just aren't getting attacked by somebody like me. It's because I don't fuck with pedos like you. So you can just keep crying all you fucking want. And guess what? And you're still a pedo, Junko. So quit acting like you're being um the good, innocent little boy. So you're quiet right now, Junko. It's because you just got destroyed. You're destroyed. I'm a goddamn fucking bulldozer when I decide to unknock your sorry ass for being a fucking brick wall. Why are you That's what you me? are. Hold, hold Why on. Are you hold on. If I, if, I may, if I may interrupt in this situation... Junko. Hold on, if I may interrupt, by the way, like, um, hi, Junko, what's up? You know, long time no see. But, um, you know, like, first of all, Brandon, you've been friends with Junko since high school? Yeah, it was back in 2015. I was a freshman at the time. While he, on the other hand, he, I think it was probably, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, the sophomore. Sophomore, yes. Okay, yeah, so, um, so Junko, uh, my question to you is: um, Are you actively seeking any professional help? Yes, I actually have been seeking professional help. I've been seeking help for okay. From much okay, the the the, the 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 pedophile priest at the local church don't count. Like, are you seeking an actual, um, you know, like psychiatrist? I have told you I have been seeking a psychiatrist. I have talked to a psychiatrist last week. Okay, so here's my question. Why, like, I want to go back to when uh, you were showing your Discord. Why did you immediately exit out of the Discord and then immediately stop sharing your screen? Yeah, like, that Jack, to me was just, just really, that to me was just really suspicious. Well, the reason and then, why, now, the reason why, the reason why I did that was because I don't want to use that Discord account anymore. I just want to oh. delete my Discord and go. Oh yeah, well, the reason why you decided to want to delete all your accounts. From your all those um all those social media's account is because you just got caught right-handed and you did actually admit to everybody. Actually, you the reason why the reason why no, I deleted my no, account. No, don't 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 even talk actually, over the me. Actually, the reason why. Let me talk. Hold on. Hold up. Let me talk. No, no, no. The reason you, why no, I, let me I talk, deleted Junko. my socials. I'm just going to right here. The reason you know why that I have deleted you. my social accounts. The reason why you decide to delete all your accounts on all the social media. I have had enough of because you just got caught for being a pedo, Junko. That's what you are. You're a pedo. Can you finish? Can you stop calling me names? Can you stop calling me names? Can you stop insulting me? And crying like a demon, baby, child. Can you stop bullying me and let me explain, please? Can you stop bullying me and let me explain? I didn't even bully you, Junko. I'm actually confronting you for the things we just that done is not back in 2017. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, but like, what, what ground do you have to stand on to say that, like, oh, um, stop bullying me? Why are you, why are you calling me names when you names. fucking grew? With, well, yes, but you grew, you groomed an eight year old girl, dude. You deserve to get names you, called about you, dude. Exactly, Junko. And I'm just going to say this right here, right now. I'm not lying. I'm not even bullshitting. Kevin well, Dad just showed me a either. video of you, of you. I am not you lying either. I am not lying. You just lying. had some mental breakdown. I told you, after I am just not being lying. After we I just grew into that eight-year-old girl I'm not back, in, lying. back in 2017. I'm telling you the truth. I'm like I said, Junko, I'm not I'm even just fucking bullying you. I'm actually confronting you for the things we just done. Am I just going to censored and bullied? 
No, you're not getting censored a bully, dude. He's upset. He's upset, dude. Dude, this is someone. Okay, listen. Listen, like, listen, Jonko, Brandon, 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 so Brandon, Brandon, if I could say something right now, dude, Junko, the reason why this guy is upset and he's bullying you and calling you names, oh no, is because he was your friend and he feels fucking betrayed that you fucking did this shit. But That's I why he's fucking to mad. Earlier. I've apologized to everybody. You earlier. have no accountability, Junko. You have no accountability. Dude, there, there's yes, a different. I, okay, so like Junko. If you I continuing, do. I have held myself to manipulating it. children. So and guess why what? are You're people still coming back at me? Why are Junko, that's like if I stab. So, if I okay, so if I stab someone. So my if I stab someone and then I immediately go, sorry, does that does the apology accepted? My goal is not to attack. My goal is okay, okay, so to betray me my goal as a is friend. To take accountability. You betray me as a friend, Junko. And let me just tell this to you right now, Junko. You're a sick piece of shit, Junko. You're a piece of shit. You but keep going. Right, listen, listen, listen. Junko, right, one Junko, one on one on one 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 you're just wasting people's time. Sad, Junko. You're really but fucking how am I sad. wasting? But how am I? You're wasting, wasting people's time. time by making up all those lies stuff and keep changing I'm people's stories like that. I'm not lying. I am not making up any lies. I'm you not lie making to people, up Junko. any lies at all. Everybody are just waiting for you to show your actual evidence. And guess what? You know, you just don't show the evidence, especially on that. Here's the that thing: I don't message, have the. We decided to delete it. I don't have the conversations it. with that girl, though. I don't have the conversations with that girl. Junko, let me tell you this to you. I know, like, you acting like that on um, that you just, you know, trying to hide something. And guess what? You're hiding. It's because you decide to um, be friends with Kylie, and you know, and you do know that she's a minor. First it's off, kind of Kylie, like that you're trying to flirt Kylie with her. was coming to me, asking me to you defend know her. That Kylie is a piece of shit towards you, Junko, and she'll definitely just backstab you, and she'll go and talk shit about you. You fucking but here's dumbass. The thing, though. You can't even just um, use your own brain. Okay, can and we let Brain King in here? I don't can even just care let Brain King in here? Just can we just let him in here? Your forgiveness. I, I just want to talk. Religious beliefs okay. on Hold people's throats. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah, keep screaming, Hold up. Uncle. Hold up. Everyone, keep stop screaming. the insulting. Keep stop screaming. the yelling. Keep Mute your mic. Like I just want to hear just like your what he does say to me. Or try to say plushy moral. Mute your mic and stop. Can you just stop? Thank you. You don't tell me what to do. I'm telling you what to do. So you're not my freaking no, parent. No one's so no one what to do. Mute your mic no, and let no, me no, listen no, no, to what Grant no. has to Stop putting your religious Please. beliefs down to people's throats, Junko. That's what you're trying to do. You like to attack I'm your people you, by using your I'm religious beliefs you on people's yourself, throats. Please, so I we don't listen. even I'm care, trying Junko. To listen to what we don't care. Saying, we don't I care about your listen. religious forgiveness. All right? So yeah, Junko, I like to keep talking over you because you just got deserved. You're weak. Just fight on your own battle. You, you like me? to keep going around and saying like, "Oh, please just forgive me." Oh, okay, let's just you, you forgive know, other I, I, people. I, 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 so okay. shut up, man! Just like, say something. Just holy say something. crap! Like, Brian King, just let's just say something, please. Just say something, please. Because I've had enough. I've had enough. Go ahead, Pedo. Brandon. And I don't want to hear that again from anybody. I want to hear one person only. So, Grand King, speak. I can't seem to hear him. Is he trying to say something? Hello? Is anyone here? See, I can't hear anybody. Hold on. I'm here, Junko. Okay, Grand King, say something. Is he going to say something? Because I'm actually waiting for him to talk. Before he says anything, Junko, I just have a question. Um, why can't you really answer any of these questions, like, straight? Like, why can't you give, like, a yes or no? I think you're asking these questions straight. No, well, well, so no, not really. no, not really. No, not Brandon, 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 hold on. All right, no. Um, so, first, uh, you didn't know that there was an 11-year-old boy. Then you knew who the 11-year-old boy was. And then you... I did not first, say you I didn't even know. Okay. Yes, you on. did. You were like, you're like one 11 year old boy. Because I didn't know what they were. I didn't know what he was talking about at first. But then I'm like, okay, he's talking about that right person. 
Well, I'm just saying, dude, like the you just have a lot of laps of credibility, like in all and anything that you say. It's really like and again, I'm gonna give you props right now. I give I'm giving you respect, you know, for coming on here and at least talking about this situation because I know it's an uncomfortable situation that you cause, number one. But um it's it's like it's just kind of very getting hard for and, and the fact that you know you even have uh you know your old buddy Daniel in there defending you like he does you know like always like your little your little butt buddy but there. I even said but, I um, don't want people defending me. I made that clear. Well, I but see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying you needed it. It's it's just funny because like you know the fact that there is people defending you is kind of sad. I don't want to be defended. No, I, I know. I'm, you said no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I know you said you don't want to be defended, but it's just it's kind of hard because it's. I'm just saying I don't get who who could defend you in this situation. It's, yeah, no, no, man. It's it's uh. You keep the thing is, Junko. Like you know, I used to I used to think you were you were an okay guy, and then you know, and I keep you keep digging yourself a hole here in this hanging out. And honestly, I just don't even get why you're here in the first place because it honestly just sounds like to me that you're a dude who needs fucking psychiatric help, man. You need to be you need to be put somewhere, in my opinion. I mean, I did say. I'm not, I mean, I'm- the thing is, I didn't say this, but I'm I'm actually going to be getting therapy. No, 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 Junko, you need to go to like a you need to go somewhere. You need to go to like a safe space. They need to put you. They need to put you in a room somewhere. I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm not saying anything else. I'm just saying for for um, this shit to you know still. I don't know what Chase said in the chat, but apparently, like you you know you talked to someone like a couple weeks ago or something like that. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I did but, say um, I did talk to someone. I talked to a psychiatrist. I thought I talked to a doctor. I did. I talked to a doctor and I talked to a psychiatrist. I'm making well, apparently. A- uh, a- well, apparently, uh, according to Dark Horse, um, you know, uh, Hero is done defending you. So, I mean, that's probably the smartest thing Hero has ever do done. Hero, though. I even well, you you groomed you groomed an eight year old chick, dude. And he probably and he's probably he's honestly Hero's probably doing that because Dark Horse told him to because I you know Hero like listens to everything Dark Horse says, but um you know it's but it's that like may not be yeah. why though. Junko, um, let me just um say this. I'm sorry, Cubics. Um, Junko, I'm just gonna say this to you, man. Like, yeah, I know. I'm a piece cri- of gar- Yeah, I know what you're gonna well, say. you're I'm just making these garbage, look bad, man. Like, I know. I know. I'm just gonna say this to you, man. Like, you ain't no um, like you ain't no real Christian. You're fake. You're fake ass Christian. All right, let, let me you. interrupt. Let me interrupt about that. All right, so um, most people who go and uh, get religion um uh, is when they feel they've done something horribly wrong, and they want forgiveness. And, and um, Junko, I'm just me- gonna say. Sorry, I'm just gonna say, um, Junko, uh, you you need some help, my guy. And uh, I don't think being on, being here on a panel with people, it, it will help you because. But at the same time, you know, you can't really get mad at people well, being mad is, at you. I felt, I felt being on this panel was gonna help me. Okay, so Junko, let me let me put it to you this way: How is being on YouTube, a public platform with people watching it, how is that gonna help you? get through your um, intrusive oh uh, yes <laughs> what the fuck how is that going to help you okay repeat the how is that gonna, how are, is okay so if you want this to help you this to truly help you how is being on youtube in a public forum with people watching and have people talking to you on a public forum how is that going to help your pedophilic intrusive thoughts The thing is, you know, I've been using the internet, you know, to, to find help. Like I know I've been looking up, you know, like, so you're not, so you're not denying, so you're not denying that you have pedophilic intrusive thoughts. No, I never, I never said I had pedophilic interests. Okay, good. Well, see, there there you clarified it, but like, I'm just saying, how is being on here helping? How is, how is being in like this, what being watched by people, how is that helping you? You actually feel like you need help. Why do you on the internet where you can get attention? Mostly, I'm on the internet because I'm looking for help, and I want you know, I call nine one one, call nine one one, dude. But I called the lifeline. Junko, no, literally, let me just, just say call this to you, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let me just. No, say I'm just saying, man. Like, this, you need help. You need help, my guy. That's all I'm going to say. You need some help. Um, I would recommend 
Um, don't even go to some hotline or some bullshit. Call 911. Say, hey, um, I am someone who wants to have sex with minors. Please lock me up right now. I and never said I wanted to have sex. I never said I wanted to have sex with minors. I never said but that. No, you just role played having sex with minors. Okay, so there's a big difference. But I did not so, say I wanted to. So yeah, okay, so like, I'm just tell, gonna see this. No, so tell me the difference besides um, there's no physical contact. Like, give me a big justification. As an actual touching, like real life touching. That's physical. no, 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 no. I said, give me, give me a justification besides that. But I just told you. Uh, you can't do it. You can't do it. See, all right. So uh, my 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 work here is done. All right. Yeah. Peace. Hold on. Hey, Junko. Let me just tell you to see you, man. I was Why actually going to ask a question. Miracle Village. I was actually Miracle going to Village in question. Florida. They have pedophilia. They have some pedophilia and sex offenders in there, Junko. So you can just um live there. So that way that you can just move away from your uh, from your past mistakes. And you still my guy. Okay, Grand King, just 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 speak, just speak. I, I, My guy, Junko, I'm just gonna tell you straight, man. You fucked up big time <laughs> by simply bringing that shit up to the plate nonstop. But they didn't know how much of how big of the extent it went at. But seeing it now, yeah, you you've basically screwed yourself now. I mean, I will admit, I have screwed. <sighs> Like you, you no, you really shot yourself in the foot this time. I didn't think any of this shit was coming out your mouth, man, until now. <sighs> but the thing is, like, like I, I did admit to, I, like, I did admit I was able to admit. I, I know, I know that, but I'm just here to tell you. I'm t just telling straight the facts. You fucked up big time, dude. You don't understand. This is some shit you can't even come back from. Once you were labeled a pedophile, that yeah, should have stuck bro. with that should have stuck with you until the day you die, man. Exactly. That's what I've been there's no there's no the coming track. back from there's no coming back from that. You're gonna have people left and right coming at you from all angles, just tearing you to shreds in a figurative sense. <clears throat> It goes for any it goes for any pedophile and or sex offender that is on this very planet right now, locked up or walking the streets. That shit is stuck with them until the day they die. <clears throat> That's right, Junko. It's well gonna haunt you and the rest of your life until the day you die. Um, and this is this is I'm just telling you, you fucked up and it's coming back to haunt you. There's no there's no escaping it. You are trying to escape a fate that is simply unavoidable. You can't so escape it. Up, though, I wasn't necessarily trying to escape, but what I'm saying is, you know, what I've done was extremely wrong, and what I have done, you know, it's it was insane of me to do that. Like, you do know that God was never going to help on the pedophilias like you, Junko. It's because that, like, you can just um, keep saying that you're religious all you want, and guess what? You still be labeled as a pedophile, like Grand Key Phoenix said. You're gonna be labeled as a pedophile in the rest of your life, Junko, until until the day you die, and you're gonna having some some last breath when you become older. Is my advice going to some God can junko. help you, but the thing is, you have to accept God's help if you want it. Well, God says. Uh, that I'm just going. Like I'm just going to tell you straight. I'm just going to tell you straight. There's no amount of religion in the world that can save you from this, man. Uh, I that that's <laughs> something I hate to tell you, but it needs to be said. Uh, you mind you fucked up. You fucked up pretty badly, man. You fuck. You fucked up so badly that not even I can defend you, which I won't, because that's defending pedophiles, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not asking anyone to defend me. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you where you fuck. I'm gonna tell you where you fucked up at. Mentioning that little incident nonstop. You have mentioned it so many times, and it's finally come back to haunt you. I mentioned and look it what, several times because I wanted people to know it as well. I wanted you should. It should have never came out to light in the first place. And look where we're at now. <clears throat> Y'all mind if I have to say something? I say you have just I I'm know, just gonna tell I you know. straight you've just on, reached on. I know Luis you're going to diss me you're going no, to no, no, you've no, reached no. the beginning of your end you've put the nails in your coffin it's that's all correct. I gotta say Peace. 
<clears throat> Junko. I'm I, I just gotta say this out there, but I'm really like beyond disappointed in you. Never have I thought what I uh, ever thought that someone within, you know, Leon's group would have turned out to be a pedo, right? And and you know my situation. You know that about me in the of course, you're aware, but unlike you, no, I'm, and I'm not here to diss you. No, 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 I'm not here to insult you. No, no, I'm just here to well, let I you. Thought you were gonna do a diss track. No, me. no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. But just let, just listen to what I have to say first. I'm I'm just gonna let show you. Look, here's the thing. I, I'm not saying you you know, uh, but I'm just saying what you're, what you did back then is it. It's coming back to haunt you. And like, here's the thing. Okay. I I'm just trying to say this out there. Unlike, unlike what you done, Doug, you're digging yourself into this massive coffin of yours. I, I, I in my scenario, I was falsely accused of being a pedo. And you already know this, but here's the thing where I did not fucked up. Unlike you did. I didn't run around this whole internet bragging about my situation. I mean, yeah, I was going through a hard time and all, but like, did I? Did, what, well, I wasn't necessarily bragging. I wasn't bragging anything. Thing, but I, but was, I, was, I was. The fact that I was saying was a and how exactly are you innocent? No, I said I was trying to prove I'm not innocent. I said I'm Junk not innocent. Oh. I never said I was innocent. Junko, like, you just keep you on... Probably you probably must know, have misheard digging. me. Junko, you just keep digging yourself inside a hole now because you do know that you fucked up this time, this time when you decide to sexually attract it Towards minors, including uh, eight year old yeah. and eleven year old. So what is okay? So I guess is Zira is here. What did Zira want to say? Can anybody hear me? Sorry, my shitty mic. Um, do you know what they do to pedophiles in prison? What? What? Do you know what they do to pedophiles in prison? I know, I they, know they put them in prison. They sexually assault pedophiles and a, a slammer, so. I don't know what you were thinking when you said that to the eight, the eight year old or whatever, but. <laughs> you, you're, you're cursed for life, my dude. And let me and just, let say, me just right say this right here. Oh, okay, well, okay, let me well, just, let me just right say this right here. Is that, um, is that um, um, the mic echo? echo? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you can mute you it can yourself. Mute it yourself. Swap, like. Um, anyways, back when I was just trying to say, like, Junko, like, you do know that um, all those prisoners, they do not like all these, um, these, these pedophiles because... If these pedophiles will will be landing in um in prison, oh boy, they don't they going to get um you know get get um get assaulted by these prisoners. They're going to shank you, and they're going to shank you, and they're going to uh rape you while you're just dropping on the soap. They're going to assault you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they ain't. Yeah, these prisoners are not playing with these pedophiles because they do know that pedophiles are one of the most disgusting people in the world and. They're not. They're not. They're not even humans. They're just animals or just aliens. Exactly. <clears throat> like okay, Leon lizard. wants to say something. You guys want to bring in Leon? I haven't said nothing yet. Leon ain't gonna join the stream, buddy. But you Leon really is Leon literally in the chat. He wants ass. to come in. We'll let him come in. Okay, yeah. one of but one of you has to go. So I think it's zero is gonna get some bad stuff. Get zero out. Hey, um, zero. I know Leon is probably going to diss me next, so I know he's gonna scream at me. 
Yeah, yeah Junko, you're going to be um, fun. I have anticipated this. All right, Leon's like, guess let your anger out on me. Have fun. <clears throat> Junko, Junko, where uh, do I even start with you? Let me guess. Let me guess. I'm an idiot. Go ahead. First off, fuck you for putting the blame on me of why you were even in the hospital as you are one careless piece of fucking shit. I didn't say anything about your actions because I didn't know how far the rabbit hole it actually went. Now I'm glad that Fire Lord exposed the fuck out of you. And I'm just going to say one more thing before I head off here. The thing is, how did I... Okay. Shut up, Junko. Let Leon speak. Okay, about the whole thing where I supposedly blame you for, for me being in the hospital. The thing is, I really don't know what I was thinking with that, but the thing is, I meant to say that some other people were the reason I was in the hospital. I didn't necessarily Yo, say Slump, are you still there? And I did not necessarily I did not necessarily mean to say you. So I will I will own up on that, Leon, and for that I am sorry for that misconception. I did not mean to make a misconception like that. So I'm very sorry for that. And I'm also going to point out for the record, only reason you're even on here, because I wouldn't give you the platform, which, you know, I wasn't going to give you once you were out it. And I'm just going to say this before I leave. I hope there was a hell and you rot in it and you can go fuck yourself. And Junko, let me just um, say this something to you right now. Like when you try to you know, it's sorry to him. Yeah, you get anything, yo, I, yo, I'm sloppy. Could you, you add Vixian? Hey, John, let me just um, say this something to you, man. Like, like when you decide to um, let people um say something about when you Vixie, just be in the hospital, this? and guess what? You're just being a narcissist, man. Just okay, keep hold on, hold on, Vic, hold on, Vixie, Vixie, say something. Yeah, yo, what's what's going on, guys? Uh, what's I'm going? What's going on? Uh, I'm here for the show. <laughs> I don't like okay. you. Vixie. Y'all were okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to own up to everything, like I said, I can own up to all of it. No problem. If that's what you're waiting for, I'll own up. So, I mean, I'll admit when I'll, I'll admit that I am wrong on, like, on things I've done. Yeah, but what's going like on? I'm guys? not afraid to own up. I can own up, okay? I mean, do you guys want me to own up? That's up to you. <laughs> so, I'm going to own up. Like, well, it's a simple yes or no question. Do you want me to own up, yes or no? For fuck's sakes, yes. Just fucking do it, man. All right. So right here, right now, I am going to take accountability. Because I have the heart to take accountability. Okay? Junk. I am going just, to take just, just go, right get on now. with it, Junko. Shut up. Okay, I am. I am. Shit. Hey, Uncle, let me just say this to you, man. Okay, you don't have that. any hub accountability, so shut the fuck Shit. up. We don't want to hear that you sub star. We just get on with it. Yeah. It's, it's too late already. Yeah, well, it's okay, going it's on. not a sub story. Shut up, Junko. Let's get on with it. I'm not Junko, Junko, Junko. Just shut up already and oh, get yeah, to the yeah. point. I'm so you have no accountability. Okay, everybody's copying. Okay, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody calm Oh, Everybody calm it down. Take a deep breather. Junko, you don't free. tell us what to do because you're not our parent. I'm asking you to calm down because I, how am I going to calm down? Fuck you. Long, long, long. Junko, you don't give me orders, so shut the fuck up. I'm not, and you, I'm you're right to shove it I am down your not ass. giving orders. I'm asking you to calm down. Take you're not our order. parent, no, Junko, on, so please. just get on with your point. Lud, can, we, can we calm hold down? Lud, lud, lud. Just, lads, lads. just just everybody stop talking over me, please. Mike, okay. I'm, I'm... thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone stop talking over me. All right, let me begin. So I will take accountability. And for all the things I have done wrong, I take accountability and I am guilty for all the wrongs that I have done. Congratulations. Like you've said 50 fucking times. You fat chunk of fucking AIDS. What, Mike? <laughs> all right, uh, listen. I gotta step in here. I need to ask a question. Okay, ask me anything. All, all right, all right. First off, who is this Israel in person? I, I don't know who that is. I'm confused. I don't know who that is. All right, all right. Well, can we can we tell them to speak because we don't know who they are and they're just sitting in the chat and they're not doing nothing. 
they're not doing anything and then it's it's weird. I'm supposed to be here, but this person isn't. Okay, I'm going to finish taking accountability here. So, should I have done the things that I have done? No, I shouldn't have. And, like I said, I shouldn't have said any crazy things to anybody. What the fuck I really shouldn't you have do? did the things I've done, like I said. And I will admit, I was wrong for betraying everybody. Who the and fuck even that, are you? Like, honestly, I don't, I don't understand who you are. Yeah, hold on. But, mate, you just, you, you got to answer the question, who, who, wh who are you exactly? Why are I'm you apologizing? I'm apologizing because I think it's time I take accountability, speak out, and, you know, I need to hold myself accountable for the things that I have done, past and present. What the fuck did you do, mate? You had to apologize to an entire audience. Yeah. What did you do? Did you burn down a fucking hospital? He groomed a eight-year-old kid by a cross uh, crossplay. What the <laughs> fuck, mate? Well, well, well yeah. not only that, fuck not only that, um, he likes to manipulate the eleven-year-old boy. What the fuck is wrong? With, is are you the same bastard who went on the news? The news about what? Did what? you? Are you the same man who went on the news? What? Oh, never mind. I why did not go on the news. Mate, why the fuck would you groom an eight-year-old? You sound like you're in your thirties. He was uh, seventeen when he did it. Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, fuck, mate. Well, not only yeah, um, he's trying to way. um. Well, not only he's just trying to um, sexually um, attracted towards the eight-year-old, but he's also trying to um, manipulate that eleven-year-old. I'm not. Boy. Hold on. I'm not acting proud. I never said I was proud. I'm not being proud. All right. Yeah. I, uh, I got some. Oh, yeah, I have something yeah. to publicly announce. Is that Israel still here, or I, I have to make sure she's here? Let, let me just make sure she's here. Is she here or not? Probably not. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Israel, could you please turn on your microphone for a second? Oh, yeah, I'm here. All right. Uh, listen, Israel, it's me. I have your nudes. You're fucked. Goodbye. Wait. Uh. Huh? What? They, they... Oh, what? What? Okay. What? Okay. Oh. Why? Why would you say that? Can we not say that, please? Okay, that's just well, kind of no weird. Wait, what did I, we just I, I have no idea what's going on now? I don't know who that was. Uh, well, yeah, that, that's some, okay, yeah, that that's somebody trolling. That's obviously someone trolling. Oh, man, that is just one hell of all uh, the Scottish ass in my hair. God damn. <laughs> But I guess, uh, he has someone right, anyway, let, me finish, let me finish open. Let me just finish you know, opening myself up. So the thing is, like I said, I'm not proud of any of the actions I have done in my life. I am not proud. I'm not proud of my past. I'm not proud of my future. I, I'm not even proud of the present things. I'm not proud of anything, you know, that I ever accomplished. That I'm not proud of anything that I have done in my life. I have never been proud of it. Um, so for that, I will say I am sorry to everybody. There's no excuse for anything that I have done. I want to say I am sorry first to Leon. Um, because, you know, when it came to Leon, like I said, I never have had an issue with him once. Um, I know that, you know, Leon, you know, pretty much sworn off at me, which I knew he was going to do, but... The thing was, you know, Leon, like I said, I am sorry for, you know, for what I did to you. If you felt that I really did, you know, you know, did attack you in any way, I apologize. Oh, um, Is anyone buying this apology? No, hold on. Don't I'm, go. I, I'm not finished. I'm not don't finished. Go. I don't, don't give go. a shit. Nobody wants to hear you. I'm not finished. I'm, 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 I'm asking you. I'm asking you, I'm asking you to let me finish. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm not asking you. You're kind of done now. You're boring. Are you going to let me finish? I haven't finished saying what I have to say. 
Junko, you're just wasting but, people's time for I'm over not past three anybody's hours. Time. I'm apologizing three to everybody. Three hours when you decide I'm to keep apologizing to everybody. Okay, Nobody's going to forgive you. Just let me finish. Why? You're just three hours. Bye bye. Your name is are goodbye. So to goodbye. Let, are you going to let me finish? Are you going no. to let me finish? Are you going to finish? Yes or no? No. Are you going to finish? Oh, kill yourself, Junko. Hey. I never said that to you. Yay, I don't I give a shit. I don't never told yourself. anyone to kill the fuck you, Pato? <laughs> That's not nice, dude. At it's least not nice. Drink bleach, Junko. Well, nice. well, I'm not nice. You sound like That's a goddamn Ellen Murphy. Right, 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 like, can anyone just let me finish? <laughs> anyway, thing is, I'm literally Help apologizing to everybody. Like, can I finish apologizing to everybody? Yeah, what Dark Horse did. Anyway, so most of all, I want to apologize to the victim. I actually want to apologize to the victim as well for what I have done to the person. Now, I know I have apologized to the victim before privately, but now I'm apologizing to the victim now as well. And like I said, to the victim, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you're still out there, but I do apologize to you for what I have done to you. I still do to this day. And, you know, I regret all the things I've done to you. Now, as for the other, you know... As for the other, you know, peeps I've dated and gave a hard time, like I said, like I said, I apologize to those two. I apologize to all the victims. Every victim. I apologize to them all. I'm sorry. I take accountability for it. I'm guilty for what I have done. You know, and like I said, I know I shouldn't have brought all of this up. I know I shouldn't have done what I've done. So the thing is, you know, it, it is, you know, it is very sad, you know, that I, I have done these things and, you know, I have no excuses or, you know, any way to defend myself over it. All the victims, how many are there? Um, I did have a couple ex-girlfriends and, you know, I guess we, had, we did not really have, you know, some of the best relationships. I know that few of them were like. Jonko, okay. you're just. Hey, Jonko, you're just changing okay. your well, subject. You have no, not friends. all of them. Hold on. Not all of them. Okay, when I was 16, I dated someone that was younger than me from New Zealand. No, there was no sexual contact of any kind. There was no sexual contact of any kind. The, were you abusive to your ex-girlfriends? Um, I wouldn't say abusive, but rather, like I said, I know we've had, like, Were I know, abusive? like, my last, I know that um, I had an ex-girlfriend that we both, Dude, you know, stop were arguing. talking. Okay, hold on, hold on. There was, He's dodging the questions. So, that I have, I've argued with. I've argued with an ex-girlfriend before. I have. I have. But I do have. I do have a couple exes. But the thing is, when I was sixteen, my first like date was literally with a New Zealand girl. Like she was younger than I was. But the thing was at the time, you know, again. Not that I knew any better, but the thing is, with the New Zealand girl, there was no sexual interaction. So I don't know why no one ever brought that one up, but I'm bringing it up. <laughs> um, Junko, have you ever forced yourself on a girl before? Yes, no, one. and I never will. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna go get into it with do. girls in person. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I, I don't. Like I said, I'm You're not gonna force myself on a girl. <laughs> Oh my Junko. god! What, so I'm gonna what, have to ask. So I'm gonna have to ask you not to ask me that. So the thing is, um, can someone ask Junko my question? How did you come in contact with? Like, how did you meet her? 
Um, I met her on a role playing Discord server. Oh, yes. But that's how I knew. I, I literally knew on a role playing Discord server. That's how I first know. That's how I first known about her. Mm-mm-mm. That what do you expect me to say? I'm telling you that's where it all started on a role playing Discord server. That's what I was telling you. So what do you want me to do? <clears throat> You should have just recognized the red flags, my guy. Hold on. DCX said, Junko, have you ever had any dirty thoughts about any yeah, of your family you members? Better. Yes or no? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I'm answering the question. I'm not going to dodge this one. Junko, have you ever had any dirty, dirty thoughts about any of your family members? Uh, no. I never had any dirty thoughts about my family members because one, I, I did. don't condone incest. <laughs> I don't condone incest at all. Hey, J- hey, Junko. Um, I know what you just aren't going to do. How about you just go to to Miracleville, oh. where all those pedophile lives in Florida? Okay, that's not funny, dude. Can you not please do that? Can you well, not it's do because that? since you're possible. actually admit that you're a pedo, then why don't you just go to that town in Florida? But that's not pedo- funny. That is not funny. Yeah, oh yeah, then I'm going to laugh. I'm, I'm not laugh laughing your ass off because you're just still a pedo. So you're a pedo. You're a pedo. But I'm not even insulting you're you, so I don't know why you're. It asking doesn't matter. You deserve the insult. insult. I'm not. I'm not being like. Arthur. You deserve every single you bit. I'm not Arthur, though. I'm not. I'm not insulting it. people like how Arthur is. I'm yeah, like, but you deserve it, Jungle. Like I said, like you deserve to go to Miracle Village because, like I said, they have pedophiles in it. You can just say hi to them, and then that's it. You can you can say hi to them, so you can so I'm not trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice. Okay, can you meet my wife? I'm here myself. Hello, Junko. Junko. Ah. Hey, um, mind if I finish my what I got about to say? Yeah, go sure. ahead. Um, I, back to what I was saying. Look, look, I just gonna sh- like make a comparison with my situation compared to yours, Junko, and you probably are aware by now, but like. Since you just for the record, uh, hear me out. Come, hear me out. Stream. I was, I, I was literally in the same scenario where Junko was, but like, unlike what he done, I like, um, it was like twenty in twenty twenty where, um, on it was on Discord where I had talked uh, to a thirteen year old girl, right? But at the time, I was seventeen, and and what did I do? I was aware of you know the um, you know the. The person's age or whatever, but what I didn't do is had any thoughts of any like pedophilia or none of that or any that bullshit or you know you already know because I had I had I know better, but at the time you know, um you know I wasn't the brightest I didn't had the you know the maturity of as I do now, but I and you know I admit you know I did make you know some ups and downs and like whoopsies and you know and but unlike what. On Junko's unable to do, I took accountability and told myself, hey, okay, okay, I deserve this and I'm not going to be, you know, right around or wh- whatever, this and that. And I'm just trying to make this lecturing to make a, a prime example of, of you know, making uh, like a parallel, you know, from between me and Junko. And this is what, and I'm trying to lecture you this, Junko. And this is like, hear me out. Junko, I'm, t- I'm telling you this lecture to help you, you know, in that inside that brain of yours to like understand that psycho that psychology behind of of how wrong you exactly did of how of why exactly you seriously fucked up and like I just wanna I just hope well, you I understand what I'm coming from. Yeah, but guys, like here's the thing I want you to understand. Like, um, you I, I'm not saying you was, but like you. 
were not in my shoes like you you don't have you don't understand how you know how this thing goes you know where like you don't know basically you don't know how it feels to be accused of being a pedo or how or you know whatever you know that's the point i'm trying to make here because i had been i have lived through that and i have suffered through this that same ordeal and you already know that by now and the more you know I, i'm just trying to you know let show you this and you know have my say because like and uh, i mean there's no coming back and you already know that and i'm not going to make fun of you or like make insults to you because i mean it's pointless like you already like made a mockery of yourself let, let, let's just agree on that all right but like um what are i gonna say um and here's the thing um and here's the thing i just wanted to like teach this important uh, more of the story y'all once you're a pedo you're literally no longer a human let's you're you're not you're not a human being you're a creature you're an animal or, or some some alien i don't know and that's just my belief oh, and no offense yoko with all the respect pedophiles like you should be eliminated or i don't know will be be held in, in a prison for life or whatever but you you do whatever your life is just i'm just letting you know your your life is technically over by now yeah um uh, well um, well let me tell you a little secret um what okay okay i you, you want to hear what's okay here's the thing y'all what junko do you know what's the difference between me and you What's the difference? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 well, here's the thing. Um, uh, here's the thing. Okay, like, what's the difference between me and you, Junko? Here's here's the difference. Ah, uh, unlike you, um, one of them uh doesn't waste three hours and and talk out of the rest to make an apology for three hours, while the other one literally takes accountability instantly and just moves on and doesn't you know talk about it again you know don't let it affect their past or you know or the way of what they actually am doing in their life that's the that's the, the, the reason why, why, reason why though, I, 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 I always do long apologies, apologies is because the thing is, is i think, I you, think know, you know the apologies can tell you how story you want well i Oh my bad! If my mic, my mic's echoing. Yeah, yeah. So any um, last um, um, questions? I'll take my leaves. Peace out. So, um, what do you want me to do? I pretty much don't really want to say anymore because I'm I'm gonna be wasting my time. So. I'll let Brandon but do what do you thing. want me to do, though? Do you want me to finish like taking accountability? Oh, hold accountable. You ain't done um, that yet. Actually, so. Uncle, no, that's it, Uncle. Like, and I'm just going to say this right here. Um, how about, like I said before, and I have to say this again. How about you just go to a miracle village, where where all those um, those pedophiles they're going to become your neighbors. And by the way, um, and by the way, once we just um gets older, you will die, and you and you still be labeled as as pedophile. And it's still going to haunt you for the rest of your life, for all eternity. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm about to head off right now. And by the way, Junkle, by the way, I'm just going to say this. Fuck your forgiveness because you're such a fucking pedophile. And I hate pedophiles like this shit. And you know what, Junkle? I'm done with you. I'm fucking done. Because you're a sick-ass piece of shit betrayal bastard. So, suck my dick. Anyways, mm -hmm. bye. <laughs> mm, well. You can't get out with this. As far as I could say, pedophiles should be dead. And you're one of them. Congrats. Mm. I mean, I was trying to, I was literally taking accountability. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the baby's crying. We're having a good time. Right. Well, I gotta end it because my wife's uh, 
letting me know that I've been on here for a long time. But um, as you can see, a lot of people don't uh, are not going to trust you. And I recommend you seeking help right away. And I, mean, I am going to be seeking help for this. I mean, like have I your said, I, I... Yeah, have your family take you somewhere because these things that you're doing are not correct and anything could trigger what you're doing. So all I can say is, you know, good luck. Uh, the police have your information. Uh, I can't say what they're going to do because I'm not the police officer. They don't tell me what they're going to do. But um, that's all I could tell you. I mean, because you did tell me that the police is going to talk to me about this. I hope so, because uh, they tell me that they're going to look into it. But uh, a lot of times when it comes to cyber stuff, uh, they give me a generic answer. But I'm hoping they do talk to you so they can strain you up and let you know, because that shit is not a good look, not a good look and you're going to look bad. And all these people that came in, they saw what you did. They, they heard what you did. And they and they were your close friends, your next ex friends. They were people you used to talk to. They they told you that hey, you're, we're done with you. So, best thing to do is work on yourself. If the cops come and talk to you, let them know what's going on. If something happens, that's on them. Uh, but seek help. All right, I'll uh, like I said, I'm still seeking help. I'm still finding a you know therapist and psychiatrist to talk to. And like I said, I am going to get the help I need because, you know, I, I did admit that, yeah, I do need to seek some help for that and also my mental issues as well because I'm going through a lot. So, yeah, For sure. All right, well, uh, this is uh, almost the end of the stream. Uh, like I said, uh, seek help as soon as possible tomorrow morning, right now, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, uh, seek some help a lot. And uh, I don't know what other people are going to say about you in other streams. They might make their own stuff and they're going to bring you up. And, you know, that's out of my control. All I can do is tell you that. I can't do much more for you. Yeah. All right. All right, then. We'll talk to you. I don't know. Never, I think. <laughs> it's, this is the only time I'm going to talk to you, I think. Unless you strain up in a couple of years, and maybe, but I'm not sure if you plan on there. doing like maybe another interview about this. I'm not sure what you plan to do. We'll see. I don't know. I might have a conversation with uh, other people, but uh, I, I can't tell you yes or no. But it, it, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a bad thing. It's a bad mentality, and you need you need some professional help to kind of help you from the no medication because medication is gonna fuck you up. Hopefully you don't need medication to. Um, I I have been prescribed antidepressants. Oh, that's not good. But uh, that's up to them because uh, antidepressants are are no good. But uh, yeah, I'll let you go. I'm gonna get you out of here and say my goodbyes to everybody and then end the stream. All right. I'm probably gonna you know like I said I'm probably just gonna leave the internet at this point. I'm probably just gonna go get the help I need and focus on my life. So For I'm sure. probably just I'm gonna take my leave. Like I said, I do apologize to the victim. I do apologize to everybody. I take accountability for this. And like I said, I I don't like I said. I mean, all I can do is you know I I could say I'm sorry for all I've ever done. Like if I wanted to, like I said, I mean, like I said, if I have to speak to somebody about it, I'll speak to somebody about it. And see if I can get the help I need. I mean, I am looking for some help, and I need some help. So, for sure, I'll see right, what's well, going on. Yeah, just but, uh, log off all your social media and go get help. And if the cops come to your house, uh, uh, let them know what's going going on because they already have the videos. So, so they're gonna add, they're gonna already know somewhat what's going on. So, so if they do come to your house, then that that's on you. I do know they'll probably come to my house about it, like I said, and if they do, I'll have a conversation with it, and I'll see what happens from here, like I said. Um, like I said, I know, you know this fate pretty much rests on my hands, so I don't really know what will happen for sure. So like I said, I do not have any contact, you know, 
with that person anymore. I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So All I'm right, just well. telling you right now, I do not have contact with that individual. Okay, well, uh, get off the internet, like I said, uh, and seek help. That's all I could tell you. I can't, I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do, but, as, you know, as everybody has recommended. Some recommend you in a coffin, but <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't recommend no one in a coffin, but, uh, but seek help and improve yourself and see how it goes. Mate, you know, wait, uh, did you, wait, what did you say? I, I didn't. You said to improve yourself. Yeah, improve my. Yeah, I am going to improve myself. That's what I said I was going to do before. That's all I was trying to say. Right. I was good. I was trying to say, but no one would let me say it. Right. No, well, I, said, I believe I can wait. improve myself. I believe I can. Yes, Marty. It's almost done, self. Marty. It's almost it's done, Marty. Don't worry. <laughs> like, like one more minute, and I'm letting it. Self improvement is a real thing that can happen. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna put you backstage, uh, and I'm gonna say my goodbyes to everybody, and then that's it. All uh, right. I'm gonna get off here now. Anyway, I might go to sleep, but um, I want to say, you know, may God bless everybody. I really, you know, I'm gonna pray for everybody. I'm gonna pray. Like I said, I mean, like I said, I've been doing a lot of Bible reading recently, right. so I'm going to do some prayers for people. All right, for sure. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, I'll pray for everybody. All right. Um, All right later. Like I said, I will get the help I need. I will seek some help. And I am going to, I'm going to live with the word of God. And I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to believe and I'm going to follow God. So, you know, I believe that God will save me. God will help me. God will give me self-improvement and that I will get the help I need. Mm -hmm. And okay. as long as I get the help I need, I'll be all I, I know I'll be all right. Hopefully, like I said, I'll probably maybe right. talk to the cops about it. I'll see, you know, like I said, sure. yeah, I'll right. let them know that <laughs> I'll get some help for this type of stuff. And that's about it. Technically, like I said, yeah, for I'm sure. Sounds All good. Right. All right. I'll let you go. All right. All right. I'll, I'll let you go as well. So For sure. You take care. May God bless you. Yes. All right, guys. Well, it's been almost four hours. There's a, God, I hate to, and I, I even talk shit about the people that stream for four hours, five hours, and I'm, it just became one. God, now I'm going to, now I'm going to feel like a hypocrite for, for this shit, but. Um, yeah, well, you heard it. Um, hopefully you guys, I don't know what's going to happen with them. I just, uh, I don't know, wish them the best, I guess. I don't know, man. I, motherfucker, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed a four-hour stream of the guy that touches kids. Or not touches kids, but role plays with kids. Uh, get some more of that shit. And hopefully, uh, like I said, I sent the stuff to the police, and I'll let them do their job, and we'll see. 90% 90, 90 of the time, those cops ain't shit. They don't do shit because it's online, wink, wink. And But hopefully this one, because it shows him admitting, might have them at their house, but we'll see. But all right, yeah, for sure. Good morning, Stephen. This was a more a little darker, more serious conversation than my... <laughs> just mute him <laughs> and uh, I try to let people speak I can't mute people I hate muting people I hate uh, depriving someone from what they want to say and shit so but uh, I'll let you guys go you guys have a good night um, hope you enjoyed this shit the shit show alright cool peace it was uh, it was Marty <laughs>